And we're live. You're checking out that outlining our enslavement. I'm Drew. We got EBT here. Where you What's at, up, fam? What's up? Coming to you from the undisclosed location tonight. Coming to you from the undisclosed location tonight. I hope everybody's got their iodine tablets ready. You got full day hazmat? Day is 924. Day is 924. This is the day of the nuclear apocalypse. Oh. It's been predicted by the Simpsons. I hope everybody's ready. Simpsons the, predicted everything, man. The storm is upon us. <laughs> I repeat, the storm is upon us. Damn, bro. It's serious business, man. Let me set up this chat oh, so I can see man. the chat, dude. I don't know how I'm going to do this tonight. <laughs> Son of a motherfucker! God damn it! <laughs> Cucky pox. <laughs> this is this is Putin's fault. It's I Putin, can't man. Drink tonight on stream. Oh my god! Well, you won't be as funny. Oh my god! I, I, maybe I'll just risk it. <laughs> I'm thinking the EMP. The EMP is gonna come before the uh, radiation. Is my speculation. So I think once the YouTubes go down, then we got at least 15 minutes to get into our NBC suits and mask, seal off the house, and be ready to duck and cover, people. Let's do it, man. I'm ready to just end everything. Let's do it. It's coming. It's coming. Look, I got a... I, for, the, for the end of the world, I got a new microphone stand. I'm like a professional. Oh, man, you're a pro. Bro, I don't even have that, bro. Oh yeah, I feel I feel really cool. I spent sixty bucks. To sixty it bucks on that, bro. I need that thing. I overpaid for it. I think you could get it from uh, Wish for like uh, probably a dollar ninety nine, but it's probably gonna take like thirteen months before you see it. Is that the um toilet bowl Earth in the chat said? The September twenty fourth people. Are is that what they're saying? It's going to be a nuke or what? Nuke, NBC, the Phoenix event. EMP. Who knows? It's weird because our case came out and he's saying. <laughs> right, right. You got to just go right to the. Right to it. Go our right case, to it, man. Our case is saying it's next year. Okay. But then everybody. Well, he's got to keep that grift going. Got to keep it going. Okay. So, but this is what I'm saying. I knew. 100% that Archaics is going to be tied into QAnon one way Why do you another. think that? Like, I think he probably, he, maybe he believes it. Uh, he believes in voting. I know that, and he believes in Trump. I, I think that. he's just a con man, dude. Obviously. But uh -oh. I know he always talks about he's so glad that he got his voting rights restored, but yet the Motherfucker still got to roll with pneumatic weapons, so I mean, he don't really stand a chance in what's about to happen. So it's about to go down, bro. About to go down. I hope everybody's ready. I hope you got your iodine. I hope you got the ramen packs. I hope you got a little bit of Twinkie stashed away. I'm ready, man. I got yeah, some. I got man. a cup full of squirt juice. You got. <laughs> I saw you guys Man. talking about the squirt juice in the last chat. I I didn't see too much of it, but I, I caught a glimpse well, of it. Well, are we well, gonna get into the 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 deep dive into the squirt? I don't know how deep we gotta go because I'm just saying that it's just piss. That's it's just it's just some weird piss fantasy, some weird fit fish fetish, fish. Nah, fit piss. It's urination. Real. Shit's real, fam. No, nah, bro. It's like uh, it's like blood over a tent with but with piss. Is piss, what it is. piss over intent. Yeah. I will. De I will debate you on this, man. We're gonna have a full debate live here tonight. I just think it's trash because you were the saying real, that real debates was, people want to see. You were saying that females are the ones going on the on the. Uh, I'm saying my wife likes to look up them uh, squirt videos 
And I think the squirt videos are fucking disgusting. Like, I don't want to have nothing to do with that. Like, that's... Your your wife don't clear her web browser or what? No, she showed she showed me that shit. She'll Damn, dude, shit. you're just putting your wife on blast like that. On blast. Hey, hey it's the end of the world, bro. It's it's, it's nine twenty four. <laughs> 924, baby, it's here. It's a wrap. Everybody's on blast. Scorch Earth. Squirt, squirt Earth. Squirt Earth. <laughs> Yellowstone, the old fable is about to squirt like a motherfucker, <laughs> boys. Oh, God, see? Yellowstone, Yellowstone Yellow... going off. All... Is that why Y'all it's called Yellow? The bunker right now. Y'all That's why it's called even... Yellowstone, because it's really oh, just piss. <laughs> It's happening! <laughs> oh shit! My bad, my bad. You know, I, I'm gonna take my red. Uh, I'm gonna wait a little. I don't think it's coming again. This is the Go debate. Ahead. I'm telling you, this is the debate people want. They want to know: is squirt piss, or is it real? And I'll just say. Hold up, hold I'm on, up. I'm on the real side. Sorry, Jesus. Yeah, I mean, if somebody wants to go into that, I mean, we'll go into that because uh, oh, that's an obvious sigh out for me. Nah, bro. You just, you just don't know any squirters, that's all. Nah, you got these sites of the tribe trying to, trying oh, to get okay. you sculled in. The ones on the videos, yeah, are probably fake, but it's a real thing. It's it's a rare real thing. That's all I can say. Nah, it's all it's all a, it all just ties in with R. Kelly. It's all the same thing. Nah, bro. Yeah, you just I want to piss ain't, on you. You just ain't stroking it right, yeah. fam. That's bullshit. That's what they want you to think. <laughs> That's what they're trying to get you out here making misses piss on you. Nah, bro. Nah. nah. Mattresses are expensive. Y'all ever been to Mattress Firm? There's one on every corner. That shit ain't cheap. That's why That's why they got to have 12 different mattress firms within a square mile because all these bitches out here pissing on these mattresses <laughs> thinking that squirting's a thing, and these bitches just pissing on mattresses. This is a whole, con this is a whole this is conspiracy. The, this is the real conspiracy. Uh, mattress, big big mattress industry is behind this the squirt fetish. Big borns. mattress behind squirt. <laughs> prove prove me wrong. I mean, prove me wrong. Unless you got, unless you got some Dupont manufactured plastic seat sheets on that shit, <laughs> and then you're just buying into the uh, petrochemical plastic corporation <laughs> is what you're doing with that. It's all just it all it's it's all just one big thing. Okay, it's a dialectic. Either you have either you have the plastic on there or you got the mattress firm on there. It's the same thing. This shit. It's two sides of the same pillowcase. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Y'all need to wake up. That's why they tell you to count sheep. That's why they tell you to count sheep when you're on that mattress firm, whether you're laying on that DuPont sheet or not. Why? What's the I sheep know got to do with it? Because you're a sheep, bro. <laughs> you're a sheep if you believe in the in the squirt. Yeah. Nah. You just I'm telling you, bro, you just ain't uh you ain't delivering the goods, man. I I don't want to. If that's the goods <laughs> that needs to be delivered, it I don't ain't want pissed, to. though. That's the thing. I'm good. What is it? I don't care what it I is. I don't know there. what it is, but it doesn't taste like piss. It probably don't taste like squirt, though. Because squirt is delicious. <laughs> that's, uh, the most, that's the most thirst-quenching drink I've ever had in my life. Thirst. What about, fr what about Fresca? That's, that, that's what about another fresca? psyop within it. They want you to think they give you squirt soda. And that's why it's the best yellow. The can is yellow. Be yellow. Damn. Best tasting, best tasting soda out there. Quenches the thirst like none other. Maybe close to Baja Blast. Maybe. They give you this thinking, well, this squirt's delicious. 
and then they put there on the porn up, hub. Then you grow they up put on and the you cor- find the porn hub. The- yep. Man. Damn. Predictive programming. We don't stand a chance. We just don't stand a chance in this. Everything's scripted. Everything's controlled. This reality is just not even real. That's what I'm thinking now. It's probably not. It's the big. It's like one big. It's like one big Mandela effect. One big river of piss. That's it. And you're floating upstream. I mean, where do we go? Where do we go? I mean, I guess all we can do is pray for the damn nuclear apocalypse today. It's next year. I mean, the, we already the or- won. The I mean, Orpheus we, said. We, al- we already run. We already won. All right. Orpheus said it's next year, bro. Trust the plan. Oh, yeah. Ophis. Ophis. Orpheus. But what if the EMP hits tomorrow? I don't know if this dude's got enough EMP bags. To protect the uh, Orpheus supercomputer that he's got there. I don't know about this shed he's got. He might have some special shed constructed out there. With the with the Uber uh, specially made van with the blacked out windows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't that I forgot. Dude about made that. a custom yeah. rape van. <laughs> got, got, got a custom, custom <laughs> rape van. <laughs> It says it says free old books on the side of it, <laughs> and it's got a uh, and it's got a bad and it's got a badass airbrushed phoenix all fiery just, and yeah. fucking like <laughs> just dripping candy paint dripping phoenix with some sparkles in it. Dang, and, and he parks you know, out, he parks you, outside the bingo hall and finds all the the old mods. Like, dude, literally, he's like a Bratz doll, like, advertisement. There's literally, there's Bratz dolls, 50-year-old Bratz dolls lined up next to the the free old books van right now. The the dried up raisins. It's the California yeah. Raisin Bratz. Yeah. The, the, le- dry, yeah. the leather skin trailer queens with the I mean, I, I guess Harley. that ties back into squirts, right? Mm-hmm. And that's why it's not. dry out there in Nevada. I mean, all this, all this connects. Lake Mead, all the, all these things connect. Our uh, uh, AIX is drying up all these biddies. Damn, is that why? Just mm-hmm. drying them up. I guess that's part of the psyop. I see. Seen... I'm in. I'm in the psyop because I think squirting is bad, and not cool. You see but all the what, the old ladies in that dude's comments, and they're like, "Hey, Jason, <laughs> is that your phoenix? <laughs> I have a phoenix fetish, Jason." Okay, 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 okay. So here's one we forgot the last. Kid, can you pull up the phoenix device? <laughs> you want to go there? Yeah. Yeah. There's- this is- Google. I wanted. To, I wanted to. Okay. I wanted to. I wanted to make a. A YouTube cover. Should... I wanted to make a cover <laughs> that maybe we could clip this part out. Okay. I want to make a cover that says "I'm sorry" and it's like I'm look all sad and there's like a tear coming down my face and then I'll be like, "I everyone, I researched the Phoenix device and it turns out it's real." We're, hey, Rod. We're Rod pull it up says right so. now. We're gonna pull Rodman it up. Says- Hold on. <laughs> Share your screen. Let's see. No, uh, we about to we about to pull up. We about to pull up for sure. Now we we never would have known this, but we thought it was not. We real. about to ref- we about to refill Lake Mead with this right now. Now the Phoenix device, we 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 poo pooed on it, but apparently it's real. Let me share my screen with you. Now, we didn't know this before, but we did the research, we read the books, and it turns out the Phoenix device is real. Go to YouTube, or I'm sorry, go to Google, type in Phoenix device, you'll see it. Phoenix Pro and Gainswear. Right ED here. Shockwave. It's the uh, acoustic <laughs> Tartarian technology. Tartarian tech. Lost technology. Tesla tech. Tesla Launch ancient acoustic technology. Tesla right technology. 
eight hundred and seventy nine dollars. This is for Yow e- Yowzers one fifty. This is the Yowzers Yowzers one fifty. If you got E D, if you can't get it up anymore, you put this thing to your taint or something, I think. And it juke, sends a, juke, it sends juke. a shockwave. Thirty treat or two treatments, it says perform two treatments per week for thirty days. It's gonna cure your E D. Um I, I I just did the math in my head. I'm pretty sure that's six hundred and sixty six is what that comes out to. That may or might may not be right. You do but you, you do thirteen hundred uh sessions run, of this right run that through the orifice uh algorithm and uh, surely it's what i said it now was. this thing here man we got to start a gofundme for him so we can send him a phoenix device i think we that's the least we could do after all the yeah. Gar- after all guaranteed, the shit we talked guaranteed erections in 138 days or your money back guarantee i mean man hey hold on <laughs> Wait, wait, where's the chat? Where'd my chat go? It's It's got to be hard if they're not fighting back anymore, right? It's hard for them. It's hey, a, what, what's They're not motto? struggling. Break, break free or die trying, right? <laughs> yeah, that's his victim's <laughs> motto. <laughs> break free that's- or die trying. How sick is that? I mean, the, the uh, bad look, bro. Look, you should have had someone. Bad. One of your people should have like proofread that for you or something. Bad dude. optics, bro. Bro, really bro. bad optics. Phoenix you device, need hi- man. You need to hire. You need to hire us. What? What better publicity team than your haters, right? Yeah, that's what he said. He came out. That's and what he a, said. He that's said, what he said. He said, man, everyone come to the channel, and they. He said. My my ancestors fought in axe battle. <laughs> the Valkyries and warriors fought in an axe battle. Like, what are you talking about, dude? We just it's the uh, this motherfucker. This motherfucker watched Vikings and <laughs> and like literally he, thinks he internalized that shit, that shit. Yeah, right. He's like, yo, I feel that shit. I feel that. I feel right. that Viking shit, man. That <laughs> Norse shit. That mead, he. I think he goes home Back. and drinks that. I think he drinks that mead at night, and he starts posting like Tumblr. Well, he, yeah, he was watching. Tumblr this is what, I can. I can predict this dude's worldview based on mainstream cable television programs. He was watch. The motherfucker's watching Viking Vikings. Then he's watching a little bit of Pawn Stars in between there. Then he's watching Ancient Aliens, <laughs> and then after dark, he's watching Hitler's Lost Technologies or some shit on on the History Channel. Like that's that's this, the entirety of this dude's catalog, and then maybe he's collecting Asian all these aliens people. again after he, all that. Right, he came he came out. He that's the that's the crowd. He's got the ancient aliens crowd that finally found the internet or some shit. Yeah, is that what it is? They just like I go in the comments of this guy's comments, and it's like, oh my god, your work is life changing. Oh my god, like what the fuck are you guys talking? What did he say? I don't. What did he say? I'm missing. Yeah, what I'm he... missing something because I'm just hearing fucking. I don't know, man. I'm and that's the, and that's what uh, that's what's aggravating. It's like what what did he say for one? For you make the comment, and then to come at us for saying what what do we get all the time? Well, what do you guys have to add add to this situation? What what do you mean? What do we have to add to this? We're telling you this is some straight up it's bullshit. bullshit. Yes. We're not telling you. We're not telling you that we have the answer. You don't need to ex- have the answer to know that it's we don't bullshit. need to. You don't. Right. You don't have to. Yeah. We can just say that's bullshit, and then not have to be able to explain it. And it's it's pretty like obvious bullshit too. Like I, mean, I can't believe like how how crazy it's getting so quick. I saw and, I saw and, one comment the other day. It was like. I love you, Jason. I love you. <laughs> this is how I feel about your gnosis. I love you. That's what it literally said. I'm like, dude, who was that? Stavely or who was posting some <laughs> shit like that, man? Like, that's how I feel about your note. I love you because you read books. Like, literally, that's what it comes. That's what it comes down to. Is he read books? Like, dude, who gives a shit? The- Why don't you go read a book? The mud thirteen hundred bucks. Yeah, 
So he read thirteen hundred so, books, man. I, so I give a, him the benefit of the doubt, man. Right. This world is evil, but I'm gonna give a convicted sex offender the benefit of the doubt, man. I love knowledge, bro. I, lo- <laughs> I, just, I love knowledge. I just love knowledge, man. I just love knowledge. Here I am by the in way, my garage. Banned. I'm here in my garage, surrounded by knowledge. But just not. Man, I check, check the sources, man. Do you think I got this whiteboard without knowledge? Think I got this cabinet without knowledge? Just gotta check his sources, man. Check his sources. I so checked I tried... all 1,300 sources, man. I'm, I've been trying to do that, though. So there's a Tumblr page that has the thir- 1,300 books on it. Yeah, and you gotta you gotta sign up to the site to be able to download the list of the oh. most thirteen hundred books. Is it all just so like did, Freemason shit? I did it. And I don't know. The website kept canceling out for me, so I don't know what I don't know what the thirteen hundred books is. But I think many critical people out there are like, well, the obvious bullshit, one of the biggest bullshit parts of his story is that he had access to these books in the Texas prison system that are not available anywhere else in the fucking world. And somehow he was able to access these books. And you just got to take his word on it that he got these books in prison and you can't find them anywhere else. OK, but well. Uh, there is an online search that you can search the Texas prison system library. Okay, so uh, it'd be easy to look up these 1,300 books and try to compare them to the online registry in general. But the whole story is stupid, right? Like, why are these... And he even did this poem the other day. He's talking about reading manuscripts on fucking vellum. And like there he like he's got the Vonage manuscripts the vo- in, fucking, yeah. <laughs> in fucking prison, right? He's the only guy that's been able to find this. And it, uh, come on, people. Uh, it's such bullshit. Hey. What am I gonna say at COVID? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's a rap, bro. How you catch something that's not real? Uh, what do we got? What do we got? Huh? Nigga, that's just a CPAP machine. <laughs> I was looking at that too. I'm like, this dude just put some on his, on, he put like a jock strap on his, one of those nut cups on his face and was like, look, look, getting them donos. He's got two, two hungry ass caterpillars up on his forehead. What he got? <laughs> oh my God, dude. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Bro, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. This dude LARPed like he had, he had the vid. He LARPed that he had the vid, bro. It's I mean, a why, right there. Why, why? I mean, I, I'm not a medical expert, and I'm I'm not a doctor. I don't even play one on YouTube. But what was it with the whole head headgear setup there on that on that shit? Well, it's not. I don't know. It's just like an oxygen. No, yeah, it's no, not I'm a just... ventilator because you'd be out. But it's an oxygen. <clears throat> so. Well, that was with like the damn an old, with that's the an damn old Yoda. picture. With the and, Yoda on Yeah, with there. the Yoda. Like, dude, I said from day one that that shit wasn't even real, and I was right, dude. What, Yoda's not real, bro? Nah, Yoda's a LARP, dude. Somebody, wow. said, somebody said, yeah, where's this hospital gown? That's a good question. Right? That's right, a, they put you on a ventilator and they're still leaving you in your fucking Yoda, Yoda shirt. Your Yoda jammies. Yeah. But and you and you're still competent enough to take a selfie of yourself. He probably just was there for whatever visiting one of his mods, M A U D. That's probably a motherfucking taxpayer phone funded phone too. Obama he's phone? taking himself. Probably. Maybe. We gotta we gotta um we gotta Get him on a debate. Archaics, we will end you, dude. Archaics, bring it on. Uh, look, even Matt today came out with the video. Matt wants to get in debates, but I guess Matt only wants to debate himself in videos. <laughs> well, that's what he's been so, like, doing. He, what did he say? He wants to debate? No, well, he solved the entire retro causality debate himself today. By debating, debating himself. himself in a video. Classic Matt. 
He ain't gonna debate. Then, oh my god. Then he went he went on this tirade he went on this tangent about uh <laughs> Mandela effect for at least 10, 15 minutes of the video. And essentially his thing was like uh you know, the Mandela effect is neither right nor wrong, but people that deny the Mandela effect are wrong. Even, like, even people that say they lived in Australia their whole life and say that it's never changed, those people just don't understand what the Mandela effect is because they're wrong. But if you're Mandela affected, there is no actual right or wrong in what you're thinking. Well, then that's what the whole shit leads to is there's no right or wrong. Then there's no like good or evil. Yeah, it it just just, leads to this relativism. Yeah, exactly. It's just nonsense. And it's just it's just constant nonsense. I mean, like the uh, to anybody come in, we're not adding anything to the uh, to the narrative here or whatever, which is which is something they would attack people for normally anyways. But I mean. Like, you could make a soundboard probably with 33 to 66 different phrases of Matt, and you could pretty much recreate every single Matt video that has come out in the last two years. Yeah, just randomize them. Yeah. Yeah, and we're not adding anything. Nothing's different. We're we're not adding anything to... And the fact that he pulls... And he knows... This is what... We know that he watches these things. Oh, At he's in point. the chat right now. It might be past his bedtime. It's pretty late now, but probably he had a lot of cat piss to clean up today. Probably. <laughs> he's <I'm> tired. Sure. <laughs> Four, right. Forearms are burning, man. Yeah, you know, man. Then again, no rest for the wicked. But uh, you know, I'm sure he had a lot to do today. Um, maybe he took the key out to the Wawa. I don't know. I mean, but who who knows? But. Um, I totally lost my train of thought now. Something about relativism or Mandela effect, probably. Yeah, no, I lost it. I had a good one, and then I got lost <sighs> on it. Dang it. Dang, Dang it. it. Have another this l- live Mandela affecting right now. Yeah. I thought I, thought I remembered what I was going to talk about <laughs> two minutes ago, and then now I don't remember what I was going to talk about. Imagine that. Retard causality. Mm. I think that's a pretty crazy far out there theory. That just like everything's changing in the fucking past or what at all times. Well, that, yeah, okay, okay. But that's only to going. certain people that can fucking notice it. You're one of the that's, special people. That's that's what I was going to go to. Like the, uh, the idea of retro causality is like a main... A, a mainstream academic thing within quantum physics that like most people in quant in like high level quantum physics people talk about. And, this, and he addresses this in the video because he talks about the double slit experiment, right? And he's saying that every single person in mainstream science believes in the double slit experiment. But then it doesn't make any distinctions or qualifications or anything about what the double slit experiment is, right? And also acts like the double slit experiment is somehow like a new thing, right? But if uh, the double slit experiment goes back uh, several hundred years, really, because allegedly it was done within water, right? So, like, you can do water with the channels and then replicate the thing that you see with the quote unquote double slit experiment or whatever. And then we get the quantum version of it, which the majority of it comes from this, uh, documentary called what the fuck did we know? Right. And where they explain the double slit experiment being something where the act of observing something changes what happens. Okay. That's the new age spin on what the double slit experiment is. But if you look at the actual science, the actual science is not telling you that it is the the actual act of observing is uh, changing the wave particle duality is the fact that you're injecting another uh, appliance into the experiment. Okay, it has nothing to do with the actual 
uh, mental observance of the person. So it's not like the person's affecting whether or not it's a wave or a particle. That's that's not even that's not even what the experiment says. So, but everybody runs with the new age version of it, where it becomes that uh, it's the uh, uh, what's the Oprah fucking uh, secret, right? That you directly affect particles within reality, which is something that I don't necessarily don't necessarily disagree with to some extent, but to claim that this uh, quantum physics physics experiment somehow proves your uh, ideology is sketchy, especially when you're saying that all mainstream science is contrived, controlled, and of the not nilk or AIX or whatever you're going to say it is, that all mainstream science is 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 uh, uh, corrupted, but then appeal to mainstream science to to prove your ideology. That's a contradiction. And why should it be wrong for anybody to call out that contradiction if we are supposed to be skeptics in this community? Yeah, these people. <clears throat> You've probably seen some of the comments we've been getting lately on the 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 Levite showed up on like the John Levi one and stuff, and they just like can't handle. And that's that's primarily one it. of the ones I'm talking about is the one that said comment on the John Levi video and saying like, "Well, what do you guys bring to the table?" Yeah, what, what, that that's what I'm like dumbfounded. Like, what does John Levi bring to the table? And then one of the things they'll say is I saw in the comment, they're like, he actually goes on site. So what? That's the same as he read the book. So what? That he went on site. If he goes there and he's speculating, I mean, it's cool, but. And he, and he doesn't very often. I don't know. Whatever. I mean, I don't I, ha, I don't. I haven't seen every video in his catalog or whatever, but I, I personally go to a lot of sites too. Right. And my assumption is like, well, obviously these are, these are not like built by some fucking alien technology or some lost high technology. And that's the thing is like, that's the weird contradiction I see in a lot of this is because, you know, me and you've been, we've been talking about this shit for many years now. And before we even got hooked up with each other, like we, we, we kind of been in the thing. And I think a lot of people could be in this idea of research before they even got into the conspiracy part of it. That's what I'm saying, like with ancient aliens and all this shit. You could you could not be a conspiracy theorist, quote unquote, but like be into this alternative field of research, right? Or whatever they call it, you know. But it's like it's all getting funneled into one one thing. And this is I mean, this is exactly what we've been talking about every ever since we started podcast or streaming together is about we could see where it's obvious that uh, real fringe alternative stuff and mainstream stuff, we're going to come to an intersection at some point. And we're at that intersection. And I, I, I don't know if we came up with it or you came up with it, but post-truth, post-trutherism is where we're at. Facts. Yeah, that's what Ewar was. Con I I called it post conspiracy, but the more been, I, the more I think about it, it's probably post, we've been saying post that for conspiracy years, is what the term I've been using. But then I think truther is post conspiracy. It was conspiracies became like truther, and now we I like the Ewar called it like post truther. So that's probably the more correct term than what I was using. And so these there's well, this no, one there's saying, this that's, one that's guy not, that's not because even J Jim Bob Jim Bob's using that too. What is post truth? Oh, post post truth. But I know we've been I know that we've said that for years. Probably we're, we're post truth. Yeah. Um, somebody so these, somebody fact check that that these might be people bullshit. are like been now getting on this train and it's like that's where we've been for a while you know what i what like let's qualify let's qualify that before we get any hate but um that's not a pompous idea or whatever you know we're not i think the majority of the audience understands that we're idiots and we're morons um but 
I think everybody's idiots and morons it is where I'm going at. And I think anytime you get to this situation where you're falling for a guru and to deny that Matt's a guru, to deny that Archaics is a guru or whoever, these people are looking to be gurus. I think at that point you need to step back and, and analyze those things, even though, and I can agree. I mean, even I think, that's where I, you could see the cognitive dissonance in people like that Phoenix, the PP guy from uh, Archaic's uh, so Discord. The guy, the guy that tin walk like a dog to the park. <laughs> yeah, you could see the cog. It was very apparent his cognitive dissonance because he was well. He would say, "I don't give a fuck what Jason's theories are. It's about his research," which doesn't make any sense because you don't even know what his what his research is you're appealing to his claim it's an appeal to authority authority fallacy if we want to throw out fallacies he's appealing to jason as an authority but he's never read uh mud 1300 books or even knows what they are okay so what if jason read 1300 but you know i just went to the headquarters of the theosoph theosophical society in america and i went to the library okay there was thousands of books, big, huge tomes, inches thick, that are complete bullshit. Yeah, exactly. Who the fuck cares if you read them? It means nothing. Jason's bookshelf behind him is a bunch of bullshit fucking books about Atlantis, Lemuria, Freemason fucking bullshit, Theosophy fucking bullshit. Uh... Uh, none of it is fucking ancient books on vellum that nobody else has access to, okay? He's reading ancient alien fucking authors, okay? David Ch Childress is the one guy that he mentions the most, and he's the second most important guy, third most important, right? So we got Eric Von Danigan wrote Chariots of the God. So he's the guy that inspired ancient aliens. Then you got uh, fucking Sukulos, the guy with crazy hair. That's the meme. And then the third most important guy in that series is David Childress. Okay, so this guy is appealing to History Channel level shit for his theory. And everybody's goyjacking over it. Well, they're going fucking nuts, dude. It's stupid. And, and, and to get hate for calling that out. Whatever, you know, Not whatever. Just that, but Levi... you're welcome. You're welcome here, and we want you here, and we want your comments. Is what I'm saying. But I mean, to to to, to outright just think that we're not adding anything to this conversation. I mean, if you want us to bring up some fantasy fucking bullshit, we'll bring up some fantasy. I'll, you know what? I got books prepared. I got books on the bookshelf over here. All right. I'll blow your mind with uh, uh, the very hungry caterpillar. I'll blow your mind with green eggs and ham. Uh, we got cat in the hat. Yeah, dude. I mean, whatever, whatever y'all want to come they, at me with. They said, um, I think, was it Bruce Lee? He's like, I fear not a man that read 1,300 books. I fear a man that read one book 1,300 <laughs> times. And I read Goodnight Moon to my kids like 1,300 times. There you go. So that means... What more it's all about the moon. Want, it's all about the moon, you know. Vibes of cosmos. Yeah, They're talking about them in the chat right now. Just um, run that through the Orpheus algorithm, <laughs> and I'm sure it come out with the appropriate numbers. Oink oink said, "Let True get a word in." E EBT's doing the heavy lifting. I just win an hour, man. All by my lonesome. Um, I'll shut the fuck up. I'm not afraid to shut the fuck up. I think, yeah, it's interesting how you said these guys that they do definitely want to be a guru. I think even, the, I even bet though Matt, they deny gurus. Oh, yeah. I bet Matt hates archaics. That's what I would guess. I would guess he hates them. Because he's getting all the comments of like, oh, have you checked out? <laughs> archaics fills in all the holes that like you, you can't figure out or you your theory leaves out or something that's what i see in the comments so well yeah i mean a lot of people are saying that i mean, everywhere Wait, what the fuck does he say because i'm missing that part of it what the fuck does the guy say he says it's just like all the different 
truth of things balled into one, alt history and all that shit balled into one. And then he says, like, don't be scared. It's like an afterthought, like, and then vibe high. You could you could probably plot his whole thing and then like compare it across like religions, like um, like he's got the the what is he called the information your your information field, like he's got the information. Was that's just your soul or what? Is that what that is? I need to go through and like plot them all out. Well, and, yeah, the informed field. Yeah, the, yeah, the come, informed field. Um, that's what it is. Yeah, I th- I think the informed field I can comes look from through. And see your informed field. <laughs> right. I think that comes from Rudolf Steiner, I think, partly. Um, like, all his things are just, like, recycled. Like That's uh, the thing. No, none of it's his. It's books he read, which is, that's fine, because there's nothing new under the sun. So, I, honestly, I don't even judge him for that. None, none of that stuff being his. But what is his is all demonstrably bullshit. AIX, the Phoenix device, it's all... Fucking right. sci-fi if we, if, shit. If, if, sci-fi, hundred right. percent. If we boil it down, if we distill it, if we put it through our Santos Bonacci hydrogen infused <laughs> water purification machine, what do we get at the end? At the end of the story, we get, get that there's AIX. this fiction, there's this fictional AIX that somehow took over at some point in time. There's also this guy that's the benefactor that like Mark, built the Mark fucking Cuban. pyramid, right? Uh, we Whoever we are built the simulation initially, and we're on some fucking comet or some fucking intergalactic s- space turd uh, in a simulation. But AIX invented a simulation of our simulation called the Simulacrum, and that's what we're experiencing. And the benefactor has put in to effect this Phoenix device that even the people that aren't uh, quote unquote bad or low vibration shouldn't be attacked by the Phoenix device. If, but at the same time, you need to be able to vibrate at the right resonance to be protected from this device. But somehow the elite have these underground facilities where they can go and to just, yeah, uh, escape it, escape it. <laughs> like, and then just come back again and rule and again. Just come back again and so, make KFC or McDonald's or fucking <laughs> Harley Dave. What? I mean, the 1902 part of his thing is it's the so weakest ridiculous. part. It's the weakest part, and that it's should the be the strongest so part. That should be absolutely the the stronghold of his theory. If he's saying 2040 is the next one, because your proofs of 1902 was the last world reset are flimsy at best, man. I mean, yeah, it's nothing. It's literally it's li- nothing. I would say you're, it's literally nothing, dude. It's it's literally you're saying that things happened. In, in 1902, year. yeah. And Mag- see, the owner is... of the founder of McDonald's was born, so that proves was born the world in 1902, right? That proves okay, the whole air, world was reset. Air, con- air conditioning was invented in 1902. Uh, reset proved, or, like, n- n- you, a bunch of companies came up in 1902, and that's your proof of the reset. And you explain the reset as this benefactors trying to support humanity. But humanity isn't really here because we are engaging in simulations. But there's this other simulation running that's in in cover. It's like a malware over our simulation. Like the whole that's thing. That's what it is. That's the, literally the theory. Nonsense. That's literally the theory, and it's fucking retarded. Okay, I don't care how many books the dude read. I don't. Yeah. What the? F- it doesn't matter how many books he's read if his theory is fucking stupid. It doesn't matter. I saw okay. one. I saw one that's uh, somebody asked him, like, is this a theory or are you saying this is real? And in the comments, he said, well, it's like God. You could try as hard to prove it as much as you want. But in the end, you never could really prove it. Well, that's what he's and- saying. The simulation is. So to me, he's just replaced. And that's what I talked about on the whole last stream. People just want to replace this void with something else. And then that what the simulation theory would be. It's just a replacement for God without with no strings attached and no responsibilities. No, just no nuance, no distinction, no nothing like, and I, I, I find it hilarious. All these people, they'll say like, uh, <laughs> that one guy said, and that when you guys trolled them is that he doesn't deal in absolutes. 
But every other word out of the dude's mouth, the same phrase, is that we know this for a fact. If you say that you know this for a fact, that's an absolute. Yeah, that dude, man, that dude damaged Archaic's brand bad, bro. <laughs> that guy was like, got wrecked. Well, and and to 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 Jason's uh, benefit there, I, I don't think Jason even wants to really interact with that. He seems like a bugaboo to Jason to me, but well, he's who knows? Probably, he's probably donated a bunch of money. But when you go to his buy me a well, coffee he has, too, he bro, has, he has, he has. Yeah. When you go to that buy me a coffee page, the dude's got the fucking the donations are fucking insane, dude. One person donated twenty five hundred dollars worth of coffee. So what's really going on there is that it's got it. Who's just giving someone that makes YouTube videos twenty five hundred dollars, man? Is he? Who's got one? Who's who's uh, the um? Yeah, I mean, I think that's... he's I think he's slanging dick, man. <laughs> that's for a weekend. You rent him out for a weekend, twenty five hundred bucks, and he pulls yeah, he, he pulls up in the Harley. He pulls up on Maud in the Harley, and she says, <laughs> she says, Jason. Can AIX watch? Give me that gnosis, boy. <laughs> He's got mad gnosis. <laughs> Man. And now his so, breath smells like the pens. And he's got $2,500. <laughs> hey, I, would, I, mean, I don't I, knock the hustle at all. It's a hell of a hustle. But I'm going to call it no, bullshit. Yeah. I'm going to call respect. the information respect. all bullshit. I mean, I'll, I'll, I, 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 100% respect to the hustle. And he's putting out videos like... Con- constantly and going on podcasts and all that shit constantly like that shit's work man and that's how you got to do it. you got to get that money while the iron's hot so that's and that's i think that's one thing that people miss that we will say i mean uh yeah mad respect for the work because that you you putting in time you're doing that you got you got the mentality to make that work and you're making that happen yeah, absolutely i'm not gonna hate on that whatsoever but at the same time, but I'm, I'm going to call bullshit. You, yeah. I'm going to call you bullshit on I'm it. I'm going to call and bullshit. For you, and to attack me to say that you're bullshit, well, then fuck you. That's bullshit because that's how this works. How many people do you think that believe in this like simulation theory? How many percentage-wise do you think don't have any kids? I'd say it's very uh, high. Very high. It's hard to, it's hard e- to say, either, but it's high. Or, or they're like boomers and their kids, kids already, are gone. Kids are gone. But yeah. that, I think that's a very small percentage. I would say the majority of the percentage don't have kids. I would think that too. Because I mean, like, I think if you have kids, like, I, it's very easy to see through these. Even even if it was true, right? Even if it was true, you still have to weigh it in in your uh, in your scale. To find out if it has any practical value to your life or any practical value to raising your children. Because once you have children, you realize that you're responsible for somebody else. Right. Which change it changes the game. And nobody can understand that, no matter what they say. You cannot understand that until it happens to you. And there's people that reject that and are pieces of shit and and but regardless whether they're piece of shit, you that's still it's a life changing thing. I mean, how I don't know how anybody could deny that's like not a huge part of human. Obviously, naturally, that's a part of being a human, right? Like you're supposed to. I mean, if anything, even if you don't believe in God or not, what would be your purpose of being here if not to to procreate, right? It. So what if your karmic debt like transfers to a goddamn hippopotamus in the next life or whatever? You're not going to know if your karmic debt transfers to that hippopotamus or not. It doesn't matter what world that you take. Like you have to consider that being you know, like I mean like what could be more godly than producing life? Right. I don't, know. I, just... I don't know. I mean, and to, to be in the mentality that it's all just a simulation. I mean, and I hear a lot of these people, a lot of people, you know, and I even hear people that go hard on like uh, homeschooling and shit. 
you know, and not to call anybody out, but I, just for reference, like uh, Fringe Files, I know she talks about like homeschooling and all this shit all the time. Like, well, you don't have kids. And if you don't have kids, you can't possibly comprehend the amount of dedication that homeschooling requires of the parent for that to happen. Okay. And, and you see this through all these, like the, the damn Hibbler flat earth productions and all this bullshit, right? Like, uh, and I saw even dearth dirt. I hope, uh, bear, bear, whoever the bear is, the bear, Bush, bushwhacker with, bear, or whatever, bushwhacker bear, bear, or whatever. He was, he was simping for dirt on a chat earlier. And I was, but, uh, you know, Dearth was on with Santos for the last couple of days. Um, and just speaking total nonsense, Dearth was saying that you should, instead of sending your kids to school, you should make them watch two hours of Santos Bonacci per day. <laughs> and then you should make him watch Globebusters. And then you should make his kid, the, your kids watch Dearth. And if they did that, then that's going to change the world. And somehow we're going to build this utopia civilization. Once we figure out how uh, the, the advanced lost tech Tartarian technology works. Once we get the secrets of Tesla's three, six, nine, once we figure out the importance of three, six, nine and vortex math and, and the donut, the donut vortex of Santos, once we figure that all out, everything's going to be all right. It's we're gonna be one man. We're gonna be one man. There's does gonna Dur be no. Does Dirth even have man. kids? No. Well then, he wants. He might. I, he, he certainly does. He wants yeah, Jenny I, Rose to be role play. Well, as Dur his well that's or what uh, anybody. That, Dirth runs this. Has this app, the Flat Earth app, right? He's the creator of it, or what? He's the creator of the Flat Earth app. Well, the not necessarily the creator. He's not the coder, but he is the funder of the Flat Earth app, the Flat Earth Clock app, which track when anybody that downloads it, uh, it shows you who the Flat Earthers are within your area. Oh, really? So it's a yeah. <laughs> it's a tracker. It's a tracker app. Damn. It shows you who believes in what you believe in in your area. But then it promotes the, and not to get Jake the asshole on it, everybody, but it promotes the, it promotes the pizza pie earth map, right? The, uh, the ice wall with, you know, the isometric projection. Well, that's a, that's a Jason term. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Talking about the, uh, what the fuck? Did, I can't remember what they call that shit now. The, um, the Gleason's map yeah. projection. Yeah. So it promotes the Gleason's map as, you know, what the Gleason map says is as it is, right? Like this, the world is this, right? That there's an ice wall and uh, the globe projection of the Earth is this. This is the flat Earth map. But there still could be things outside of of the Antarctic ice map, right? And that's that's their biggest cope when they try to explain like, why would they hide this from us? Is that, well, maybe there's extra land. There's extra land where everything's free, where there's techno there's Tesla technology, free energy and everything. Like, uh, everybody has a Tesla truck, a cyber truck out there. Now, um, everybody gets free sushi buffets every day. Uh, there's like free espresso machines everywhere. Um, there's Chinese Jack Shacks like on every corner and you don't have to pay for it. Like it's utopia and they're hiding that from us. And if we just knew that we could get there and we would be free. We could go to the Jack Shack whenever we want it. We can espresso for free. We wouldn't have to do anything at all. Like everything would just be like, everything would just be like free and perfect and like awesome. If we just got there. Have I ever told my Chinese Jack Shack story? I can't remember. If we want to talk about Jack Shacks, we can talk about Jack Shacks. <laughs> I only have one story, and it was when I was like, I don't know, 18, 19. 
and if you're in Minnesota, you know there's a place there's a place called Sex World downtown, and it's, mm. it's still there. It's like a huge um sex shop, whatever. But then way back in the day, there used to be one of these massage parlors like right next to it. So me and my buddy went in there. And uh, we didn't know what to expect, you know, because we're like 18, 19 years old. So we go in there and, uh, you know, they make you, you sit there, you take your shirt off or whatever, get in a towel, you sit there. And then they brought us both into like separate washrooms to wash you up or whatever. Mm. And then they bring you to the back and you wait in this room for someone. So my buddy goes in one room and I go in the other room and this old ass lady comes into my room man oh which honestly i was <laughs> i was young so probably she probably wasn't that old but maybe late 40s or something i was thinking it's gonna be some young chinese girl or something right yeah mama she look like a, she look like a man ma, no nah, mama son comes in it was mama son herself <laughs> she comes in she gives me a massage she's like too beaucoup couple too beaucoup. couple minutes she rubs my back she go turn turn over turn over I go, okay, you know, I turn over and I'm like weirded out now because she's old and I'm like, this is weird. And I'm like 18, 19. And she just points down. She goes, Misage here? Misage here? And I was like, uh, yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> and so she takes this, this lotion and she just goes, <laughs> squirts like half a bottle of lotion down there. And she puts on uh, two plastic gloves and she's down there like, and all I can hear is like the lotion and the crinkling of the glove. It's like, and I'm just like, yo, this is fucking too weird for me, man. I was too weird. And I was just like, all right, I'm good. Like, and I just ended it. Right. And I just got up and left. And then my buddy, he was in a room with like some super hot young Chinese chick or whatever. And he said she didn't do anything. She just like rubbed his back. That was it. All right. So while we're telling stories, I'll tell my I'll you tell my Jack, first <laughs> Jack Shack story. Your my first, first ex- that was my first and only. I never went to another <clears> one. Well, I'm not admitting anything. I'm just gonna <laughs> and first doesn't imply there's a second. All right. Right. So I mean, but uh, uh, so when I first moved up to Chicagoland area to go to school, uh, there's a bunch of us dudes living in an apartment, and somehow. We found out about Lake Street. So in Chicagoland area, uh, Lake Street is like filled with Jack Shacks. Like Lake Street is like Jack Shack Haven. So we just we got shit faced one day. We had this. We were all 18, 19. We had this one guy that looked like he was 35 uh, that drove like this Astro minivan. And he was able to buy his liquor from this place called Mr. A's over here in Addison. So, like, we, we went to Mr. A's, we got some liquor, uh, went in the minivan, went back to the apartment, got shit-faced, and, we, and then at some point we decided, uh, well, there's this place called Lake Street, let's go up to Lake Street <laughs> and go to one of these places. And so we went, and we're all so, so shit-faced. We go to this place, and none of us have any money. Most of us had, like, 15 and to $20, like, to our name, in our pocket cash <laughs> so like it, we went to one of these jack house jack shacks on lake street and it's one it's one of the ones where you go in and then like all the girls come out in front like as soon as you enter into the waiting room like they walk out all the girls in front of you and then like you're supposed to pick the girl that you want to go with or whatever <laughs> and then like so were they so, hot were they hot or no uh uh not you're not terrible but not it wasn't like it wasn't like you know ancient chinese women or whatever and then like so (laughs) anyways we're all this waiting room and we're all fucking geeked out drunk (laughs) but like we all pick a girl and then like the the hostess is like explaining prices (laughs) and then we're all like we're all fumbling through our pocket we like um I've got I've got eighteen bucks. <laughs> <laughs> what was the price? What were they asking? There was no set price. I mean, there was no menu at this. Time. Uh... I mean, like, but I mean, it's like it's like, and it was. It's always negotiable, though. If you if if you know how to work it, it's always negotiable. <laughs> like it's like we we're all broke. We're all broke anyway. So like, 
I think I had like twenty two dollars on me, and I like, I was like, I got twenty two dollars. <laughs> they're like, ah, fuck, whatever. <laughs> like, like, so they're like, go to go to room eight or whatever, you know. And they go in, and then like, <laughs> you go in and sit in the chair. Like, the twenty two bucks doesn't even get you in the macho- in the massage table. Twenty two bucks you gets sit, you, you on the chair. Ass in the chair, damn. On the chair next to the table. damn. And then she comes in, she's like, throws you a towel, <laughs> throws you a towel. I'm like, the, what the fuck am I supposed to do with this towel? <laughs> she's like, oh, and then she's just dancing like this. Oh, so she didn't even touch you. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. She throws me a hand towel For 22 and then a bucks, bottle of Jurgen. A, towel. a bottle of Jurgen's. <laughs> <laughs> and Damn. then like eight, minute, eight minutes later it was over and that was my that was, that was my first trip damn yep that's fucking funny yeah i don't have any other jack shack stories <laughs> i wish I, I wish i did no actually i don't but <laughs> I mean, you the can other do that shit for any, free. Any, any other one that I would have is pretty straight. It's a pretty straightforward transaction. You go in there, you pay the money. Sometimes on the flip, sometimes on the flip, they ask you to re up on the price. Oh, really? They, some place, yeah, they, is but, it like depend on how they look or just that's just kind of. Uh, you know, like a lot of times these are like. Uh, you know they have entire like evergreen shipping containers full of these <laughs> of, women like, coming Russian, over here. Russians, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, and I mean, um, yeah, I mean, some of them are straight like uh, anime kind of. I don't know personally, but I've heard, I've heard, you know. And then they try to get you on the flip, though. That's funny. Yeah, they always get you on the flip. You you get in in the intro price, right? You think that's the that's the final thing, and they'll tr- they'll hit you with that. They'll hit you with that upcharge, but bastards. It depends. It depends. You know, and I mean anybody that's experienced in this in the strip clubs understand. You know, like there's the whole psyop with like uh, Chris Rock and the whole there's no sex in the champagne room kind of bullshit or whatever. But I mean, like. Most strip clubs legitimately have rooms in the back where you go and fuck the strippers. I mean, that's like it's just like a common thing. Yeah, I've clubs. never had that either. No, that it's like a thing. Uh, it's I like, used to go to the strip club like a lot when I was like eighteen, nineteen. And it, it, it and it doesn't even. I mean, it doesn't even really matter. I mean, you can if if yeah. I mean, it, it's not about money really a lot of times, but not that I know personally. But I mean, He's I just have a these couple, of, a couple of bumps or what? It doesn't even matter. It doesn't. You, you just a baller like me. You just drop some gnosis on these bitches. Like, <laughs> you got that bitch, gnosis. They're like, bitch. oh sh, yeah, whoosh, whoosh. Sounds like yeah. a toilet flushing in their mm. panties when you walk oh, in. Thirteen, thirteen hundred bucks. <laughs> they're like thirteen hundred. You know, I got a Harley outside in the parking lot. Fuck the Harley. You read 1,300 books. 1,300 books. Oh my God. Yeah, and this this is a real thing. This is a real thing, though. Most strippers are pretty woke. Like woke to the J or like just in general? Like, I'd, I'd love for a single guy to go and experiment with this theory. Go to the strip club. And then try to talk conspiracies to the strippers. I guarantee eighty percent of them will be able to go toe to toe with you on conspiracy. Really? Theories. That means there's probably some strippers in here tonight. Oh, I know there is a hundred percent. Strippers, escorts, um, cuddle buddies. Well, there All was for sure stuff. some cuddle buddies in the past. Yeah, it's the thing. I mean that that's the thing. I mean I think that's pretty much a. We know I'm pr- I, we pretty much know this for a fact. I think at this point, I'm gonna come out and just start saying I read 1,301 books. Well, and then he's fucked. I think no. Well, I think technically it's uh, 1,357 books. Okay, well, 1,500. 
Yeah. I've read 1,500 books. That's pretty good. So, That's pretty good. I know we wanted to talk about Tesla. That's another one Tesla. of these. That's another one of these, like, truth or tropes. Oh, yeah. Tesla definitely is one of the... There's a cult of Tesla. There is 100%. a cult. There is a cult of Tesla for sure in the in the truther. And and the Tesla thread like runs through like all different genres of truthers. But it's somehow one, like I was going to say it's one of the first things I think when you get into the information it's, the first two things you probably learn is like Tesla was suppressed and then the Vatican's bad. Right, right. That's like but intro. The the thing that I find funny about that is though, if you look into it like at any depth, you realize that like Tesla is not suppressed because his system is what won the current wars for one, right? Like AC dominated over DC in the current wars. So you had Edison versus Tesla. Uh, how we can supply houses with electricity. And Edison's system of DC required a lot more power plants because they couldn't send power through extended lines. And Tesla, AC, and, uh, you know, people say that Tesla invented AC, which is not true necessarily. Tesla has the patent for AC electricity. Okay. So, but he wasn't the one that came up with it. It's 60 plus years before Tesla, AC electricity was already in use, or well, was already proven to be real. It's just that Tesla got the patent for it, okay? So Tesla had one, that over 160 patents under his name, but it was technology that had already existed, okay? Yeah, it's so, all. Your tech in Europe and shit like that, and then that's where he came but from. But he's the one so that he, is officially he, recognized. He's patented it in the United States. As being the guy that patented it. Okay, so right away, that should be a red flag, right? Like, uh, if you're saying this guy was suppressed or whatever, well, it ha- just so happens that somehow this guy has, like, all the patents for all the major things that go ahead and build society for the next 100-plus years, right? So what it, Tesla is uh, credited with AC electricity. All the power lines that run to your house are AC electricity, okay? Uh, he's credited with radio waves, radio frequency. So the radio in your house is, or in your car or whatever, supposedly it's Tesla that came up with that. What else do we got? I got them written on my, on my board here. Uh, X-ray. X- X-rays. Tesla's credited with x-rays. He has the patent for it, but he wasn't the person that came up with it. Yeah. Uh, what else we got? Radar. Tesla's credited with radar. He wasn't the one that invented it, but he's the guy that got the patent for it. Okay, so he's the guy that's through the government system is the guy that's credited for having it. I mean, that's, shouldn't that be a red flag or He's suppressed, yet he's the guy that's credited with the invention of all these things. It goes with, it sense. goes with what we've talked about for a long time, where the true thing it's just memes at this point. You just look at a meme and regurgitate a meme and they're like has the what? has the underdog story like built into it, like, oh, he's suppressed. Yeah, the and like the biggest thing is like radio, right? Radio. Tesla was, went big up against Marconi in Europe for radio. Uh, Marconi really was the, the was the pioneer in radio. Tesla ended up getting the patent. But one of the things that people claim a lot is that Westinghouse gave Tesla all this money to come up with Warren Cliff Tower, right? The penis looking tower. That you see in all the in, in all the Tesla memes or whatever, so like Westinghouse, who becomes like a big engineering manufacturer, right? 
gives him the money to start War- Warncliffe, but Warncliffe's supposed to be a radio telegram transmitter. Okay, so Tesla gets all the money, but then he doesn't make a radio telegram transmitter. He goes off trying to build something else. So Westinghouse gets mad that Tesla doesn't do what he paid Tesla to do. And even whatever Tesla did didn't work. Okay, so Westinghouse gets mad. At the same time, Marconi was able to transmit telegraph waves across across the Atlantic. Okay, so Marconi wins on that. Somehow Tesla gets the patent for radio technology anyways. And then but so what Tesla is experimenting with at Warrencliffe, which is somewhat important, right? Because Tesla postulates that there's this frequency that of eight hertz, right? And he thinks that he can send power uh, up to like 26, 30 miles over this 8 hertz frequency. It's not till years later where that 8 hertz frequency is what becomes the Schumann resonance, which people now call, you know, like the heartbeat of the earth, right? The Schumann resonance. So this is discovered, and this is going to go back to Matt, QOC they discover this eight Hertz frequency having this special ability to transmit long distances when they're trying to learn how to communicate to submarines. So they're trying to learn how to use land-based communications to communicate to things under the ocean or not necessarily even so under the ocean. Is that but, what, is that what yeah. Matt's talking about when he's talking about the submarine? Cause he's got the towers <laughs> yeah, saying, well, that's some what I'm, fucking that's what I'm code saying. or some shit. That's what I'm saying. It's like Matt, if Matt is connected to whoever Michael Victor or uh, what's what's the new Win- name? Winter Mute. Winter Mute. So if Matt if is, is connected to that, if if Matt is connected to that, then Matt know then he would know all of. And Matt's giving us clues to this. Uh, so Matt did the video the other day. About um, the transcontinental railroad. Okay. Yeah, I know where you're going. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And the majority of his story on that video was about, about that the painting, golden... right? There's a painting, but one part was the golden spike. So when the trains met up, there was a golden spike driven into the rails or whatever. Okay. But what's weird is that. Two or three days before Matt decides to make that video, that Wikipedia entry that he's referencing gets edited. And that Wikipedia entry gets edited by the name of, what is it, UK Expatriot or... You showed it. It, it had, yeah, it had something to do with British expat. I can, I can pull it, it up. Was so, it was something expat, okay? Yeah. And that Matt sells expat insurance as well as kidnap and ransom insurance. So it's so curious that Let me pull it up. Two or three days after this Wikipedia article is edited, Matt covers this Wikipedia article on his channel and covers the edited per- portion of that Wikipedia article. I mean, I don't know. I mean, like it's like the the pissed on breadcrumbs just keep coming. Yeah, so I'm saying see... Matt's like some cicada. We're like on cicada 3302, is what we're at right know. now. I couldn't find it fast. I can't remember where I view history. Cr- Do you click we're view on... history to to see the, where the revisions happen? This is cricket 3607, <laughs> is what we're on. How do you find the edits? I'm trying to. You just go down to the bottom and it shows you what the edit log is on it, I think. I don't remember. I forget, but if you guys know how to do that. It, this is common Wikipedia backsir. You I I'm I messed up. I can't tell you right now. Yeah. But I'm I saying forget, you right just go you go, you can go <clears throat> most people that research know you can go to Wikipedia and you can look at the edit log. You should be able to find it right now. Just go all the way to the bottom. In the bottom. 
Okay, just go all the There's way. There's a view bottom. history. I I feel like it was in that or something. Here's the bottom. It's just this so ref. There's there's a edit log somewhere in there. I think it's that top one. That hold on. That says view. I want to pull it up. Find edits by user. No, hold on. Compare revisions. No, you don't want to edit it. You can go and you can find the edit the the audit log audit log view history. Go back up. Yeah, you're seeing a. I'm delayed. Delay, I'm looking um, yeah, this is it because I can see that I clicked it. D T Parker one thousand was the name of the guy. So how do I see his? You can see all his edits. And then, yeah, it's, he edited the last spike there ceremony you go, the pen, the pen, on the September fourteenth, twenty twenty two. This guy edited the last, and the video was like two days after that. Mm. And then when you go to that guy's page, though, it said something about it was all about that might, um, that might have been the last person to edit it. I think maybe. There, there's like when you look at a lot of these pages, there's either like two or three people for years that are going back and forth and editing like one entry in in Wikipedia. I can't find it. Right which now, I think is an it, I think which is an often like mislooked thing is like people don't like look at the people that are editing Wikipedia. I think like Matt assumes like. <clears throat> I don't know. Okay, most think- most of these motherfuckers know you're not gonna double check their work. So like with that Levi video that we peer reviewed on Levi's most most important photo in history, and then everyone was hating the Levites showed up. Yawn Levi. <laughs> um Jesus. I got I my d- iodine got my iodine flavored Cheez Its. And your Mandela effect Mandela affected Cheez Its. But they know like that John Levi one when I we had that talk about it and then I clipped that part out and I put it on YouTube and those people were mad. I forgot to add the picture of the that would have been like the right thing to do is to add the picture of those towers that he showed filled with all kinds of like backfill and shit. And someone else made a video that same day about that and showed it actually of those things just filled with like debris and shit. So basically it's Proven that he doesn't know what he's talking about or, or like refusing to search a little bit more. And then in the same video, the dude talks about Anne Hache and says, you can't find information on Anne Hache. And then people are coming in the comments and just hating like, come on, man. Should- uh, yeah, that it was just so obviously apparent on that video. He said, this is the most important picture. If you look up the pictures yourself, you can see that they're backfilled brick towers. The one tower, the bricks fell off. It's been plasma. And, and then when he went to the Anne Hache thing, anybody that wasn't like, what was that? It was like three or four, maybe four or five weeks after yeah, it happened. Way after and said he couldn't find any information on it. And then so we call that out. Well, we call yeah, that out, and then all of a sudden, it's people are all, mad. All sources seem to say that she's still alive. Yeah, and then they quietly changed it to she's dead. No, <laughs> they didn't, dude. No, like you're full. It's, of like, sh- it was, it's a it deception. Was a so thing. we're gonna call yeah. bullshit. This is this is one of the p- points what I wanted to make when I say how many of these people that believe in simulation theory and this type of shit have kids is probably not that many of them. But when you're a dad, that's your job is to call bullshit. So that's probably where it comes from. It's just the dad in us. We're going to call bullshit on your video, and then we're going to turn down your thermostat. Too high. Right. That's what I'm saying. Did you go poo-poo? Did you go pee-pee? Did you shake it? <laughs> I don't know that. That's foreign to me. The All my, kid, all my kids are girls. Mm. Got two boys with their diaper now. So we'll mm-hmm. see. But the... Just the amount of like pushback and hate on that is like fucking wild to me because, like, I commented on Ewar's video. I said, imagine a scientist, and someone does peer review on on their science work, and then the scientist says, "You're a troll. You're just a troll." Like, 
a lot of these people that comment, they won't even look at the the evidence that you're willing to present or well, yeah, I think a lot of that is they have like this, and I see this a lot everywhere, especially a lot now in like Christian apologetics, is like they get the idea of science completely wrong, where like they believe that science is this objective um, thing that you're going through where without a doubt you can like prove objectively that this thing is right. And that's unfalsifiable. You see this a lot with presuppositionalists, but um, like in reality, if you use the quote unquote scientific method, you're supposed to be able to falsify it in some way or another. Like there should at least theoretically be a way to falsify your theory, right? Even if you can't. And like they leave a lot of this step out. But in general, the idea of science, science is any like systematic uh, structure of belief or knowledge. All right. So like really anything could be science. Okay? It doesn't matter if you can say I can object objectively prove this is true. Right. And that's not even what science claims to do. I mean, like we're it's, we're mixing up terms and we're coming up with these ideas and conceptions that aren't even like remotely in the realm of possibility to prove, right? Like I think most of us are past the uh, flat first fucking globe shit, right? I think a yeah, lot of us are at the old. point like it one, it doesn't really matter. Two, I'm never going to be in the position where I can prove objectively to myself that this re is real, right? Like I'm never going to like I'm not going to be able to afford a SpaceX trip to fucking to see if it's a globe or a flat plane, right? Oh, and it's like they, it doesn't really matter, and it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's a globe or a flat plane. None of that shit matters. It doesn't even matter if it's a fucking uh, simulation. Yeah, you're still it here matters, and you got to do right, some shit. Right, you're still here. You're right. What's up, Tin? We got. What's uh, up, Tim? Phoenix Protocol's worst nightmare here. <laughs> <laughs> that dude's like uh, on suicide watch, I bet. Um, I mean, that's completely, I mean, it's completely a fair point. It's like, okay, I mean, what What are you going to... Uh, Your mic sounds like shit, dude. Yeah, bro, come on. Can you hear me? Barely. What? I'm I'm gonna cheese it's in the microphone till you fix that shit. <laughs> All right, hold on. It's probably these fucking AirPods. No, it's yeah. just, whatever you it's did. It's always a fucking AirPod, bro. You know they were gifted to me, so I feel, there we go. You know, is that better? Yeah, no, I can hear you. All right. No, I'm saying you know, it's a. I mean, it's a fair point that you know the. I mean, you're. I don't think either side can really prove anything, and it's just like a. It's a constant stalemate, like, and, and it's just an endless argument about it that neither position can prove. So, what's the point? I mean, what? Uh, it's, it's so irrelevant to. Yeah, that's <laughs> what that. some dude uh, came on the comments to and was like, "What do you think is the most?" Uh, uh, he had like 10 questions. It was like, wh when were these Tartaria buildings built? What's the best timeline? This and He had like 20 questions. And I said, oh, the answer to all those is who gives a shit? And the dude, like, <laughs> ra he raged out and he's like, you're you're trying to um, discredit anyone that's looking for meaning. But how do you get your meaning from life from knowing what your fucking building was built? Like, Well, and he's the guy that went on to say that old buildings being demolished is a spiritual attack. Uh, that wasn't humanity. the same guy, I don't think. But that, same guy, okay. that was a different commenter. Same, that same, said, same type of person. Said, yeah, it's same. A Levite came in and he said, <laughs> he said, like, yeah, we're under spirit. These guys, these guys look like fucking hillbillies, man. And he said, uh, we're under so much spiritual attack. These guys don't know about it. These buildings are getting knocked down. <laughs> Like, what the fuck are you guys even talking about? 
What are you even talking about? Spiritual attack is knocking down a fucking the building. Fuck? What the fuck does a building have to do with your spirituality? Dude, these people like are it, fucking they're they're just triggered. I'm I'm convinced a lot of them are triggered just by the covers I make and they're just like come in fucking hot cuz they're triggered. They don't even watch it and then they refuse to even listen and it's pretty wild. Welcome, bring them in hot. I will eat cheese it and I will stick into this mic. <laughs> Fuck and I will destroy those motherfuckers. I destroyed Jim Bob. Jim Bob and Aaron BPF on a stream earlier today. I fucked the motherfuckers up. You went hey, in the, you went in there? Don't. Oh yeah. I, I should have went in there. I was trolling in the trap. I, I, I think, think I mean I think we've done collectively a pretty good job going in there and people are always like highlighting our in there and uh, i think that th they 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 take it so badly too when we when, when we have legitimate questions about what they're saying and uh yeah, we, <laughs> yeah. Do troll. Even, we do troll but i mean i mean we, we do, i mean i mean we do troll but they're they, you know we're, we're trying to get their attention and then once we get their attention and like we give them the real questions hmm. and and that's the that's the real point of the troll, the trolls to get their attention through the the midst of shit that's out there that people are, especially in that chat with the with Andrew the 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 Andrew BPF dude or whatever his fucking name is with the he had the uh, what that really troll stream he had last night with the dominatrix whatever, and none of them knew that that was a troll. They had no discernment. Yes, this is bullshit. They had no, they this had, is they had no, posh. We have this yeah. stream in the mask, the mask and the dog chain. <laughs> I don't even know who the fuck that is. Pa posh is posh is so like they all gotta have this guy with the weird accent. We talked about this in the last couple of streams. Yeah, Jake the asshole had that one weird yeah. ass fucking voice. So Jim Bob's guy with the weird accent is this guy named Posh the Redneck. And he's this Serbian Orthodox dude with this super deep voice who super deep British voice, but also at the same time, he's an Eastern European Serbian Eastern Orthodox Christian. It's, it's, so it's a, it's a weird combination, but yeah. So he's got this weird voice guy in, in his thing all of a sudden now. And like Posh, Posh is his go-to theologian now. So like anything Jim Bob doesn't understand, and Jim Bob's just LARPing at the at the at the current moment because I mean he's he he's found something he thinks he can argue. He's found this presuppositional uh, orthodox dire uh, argument to use, and he's running with it everywhere. And uh, you pose any like serious question, he just loses his mind. So, and then they had this stream last night, which was hilarious. Anybody that was in the whole thing. But Andrew from the Crucible got trolled because this pickup artist guy named Alex wanted Al Andrew to come on this stream that Alex set up. And, and Alex is this hilarious character. And it'd take too much backstory. So, but then he brings out these, the, the, this debate opens up and it's a girl in a mini skirt with thigh highs with this dude in a leather mask chained chained up and then it's just this whole debate and the whole thing is like really just like an amalgam of really what all internet internet debate culture has become <laughs> but at the same time it's so understandable that the guys are trolling Andrew at, 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 at minimum, at maximum, Andrew is is a implicit within the trolling that he's receiving in this stream. The stream went on for like four or five fucking hours last night. It was they they reviewed it and like there was new gimps that came out like halfway through the show. Uh, like, it was fucking halfway nasty. through the stream. This guy comes out of the kitchen in a boob suit. And a ball gag and shit. Like, it was so obvious that it was bullshit, right? And then so Jim Bob comes on with Andrew today. And they analyze this debate 
stream from last night as if it was fucking reality. Yeah, they 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 couldn't con- they couldn't conceive of the concept of they were being trolled at all. Yeah, it's just unreal. Yeah, the for them not to be grounded enough to understand that that was parody, that that was sardonic, that that was discordian, that that wasn't reality. Even if they do, though, but I don't think they do because they're not that good of actors. It'd be one thing if I thought that they were acting, trying to act as if that debate was real and they're going to analyze that debate. The fact of the matter was they really thought that shit was real. Well, no, and none of so these did motherfuckers the, have and any so sense did the of humor, audience. man. So did the audience. Yeah, none of these people have a sense of humor at all. It's unreal. It's so unreal. And the people that do recognize that it was bullshit get called out and ridiculed in the chat. Whether it was me or there's this there's these there's this family that's been going after Jim Bob lately, the Tharps. So there's Ben Tharp and Great oh, Grace yeah. Tharp. Yeah, yeah, Ben and Grace, yeah. Oh, yeah. I saw so them ben on Grace, another one. Ben and Grace have been going hard after uh, uh, up, Jim Grace? Bob What's and up, Andrew. Grace? Shout out to Grace and Ben. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> they've been going after them, and they're like, nobody understand. Then everybody's like, well, Ben works for the CD- CIA and all the. It's just like, they're Dude. so triggered over Ben. It, it's It's just, it's funny. It, it's unreal. And, 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 it's, you know, and, and it's, they're not acting because Andrew and Jim Bob seem like fucking idiots. I'm just going to say that straight up. They really do seem like fucking idiots to me at this point. Jim Bob gets worse every day, every fucking stream that he makes. The further he tries to LARP on this presuppositional bullshit and acting like he's an Orthodox Christian, the further you go on with that lie, Jim Bob... The further it exposes how full of shit you are. Yeah, I, 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 I had no idea he was LARPing like that. That's weird. And it, and it's funny that he only has one, like that one guy being an Orthodox person. Yeah, posh, his, like yeah. representative. Like, like, come on, man. And, got and then posh with and the, I, and, the RGB headphones and everything. It's like, and then the whole thing. I don't know. They had in the, their memes, like the entire chat, all they can do is say, fold it like a chair now. Like Jim Bob's chat, like fold it like yeah, a chair. I don't know. It, it's, it's a it's, cult. It's sick. Another cult? Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's like, it's like that. It's not as, it's not as, uh, it's not as severe as something like archaics or Matt, but it's yeah, it's no. the same. It's the same thing where they're not really thinking for themselves. They're just sort of going along with it. And, you know, Dyer, you know, Jay Dyer has the same concept, too, that happens in his place. And then that think happens, Dyer's and that, is bad. It's like these are trickle down, trickle down effects. I don't know. I, I, I don't think, Yeah, I think it's, people it's just get... People just get so, uh, you know, enamored with, you know, the personality of the channel, you know, it's like, like, whether it be dire or whatever, whatever, they just sort of, I don't think they really understand, like the, like the thing with dire, for me, it's like dire, I, dire, I respect because he knows what he's talking about. His, his people that follow him, I, I can't say the same for them. Right. Because they... They seem to just sort of pantomime him, and, and and Church of Eternal Logos is a prime example of that. You know, he he went into that debate with with Adam Green, and I'm expecting this guy to, you know, really know what he's talking about. But he really he really just sort of falls under this J. Dyer precept script, and it and it and it really just failed. It looked fucking terrible that was it one looked, of the worst the at, worst debates i've ever as as an orthodox christian like seeing that g- unfold was just unbelievable because the, it looked like a guy that just like ran from ran from scripture and was ashamed of scripture to be honest with you to look at him looking at it back now uh, it, it it's it's so bad because when you when you just like the the whole thing with with archaics and Phoenix Protocol, it's like 
you seem to know the words, but you don't know the like the music. You don't know how to express what's what's being said here. You 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 have a zeal for, you know, uh, the the knowledge, but you don't know how to. That's a problem. Yeah, that's they can't internalize it and repeat it out like we talked about archaic theory at the beginning of the stream and repeat right. it, repeated what it Listen, was. I bet you those people couldn't even do that. The, the, and and I and I've seen it in all of archaic's videos. Not one comment on his videos talk about the content of his videos. Never, never. I haven't like when I go to comments. I I always find like the comments to be fruitful. I always find the comments to be where you know people you know it's because it's 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 a uh, uh, it's a it's a great thing to have different perspectives and people's different point of views. When you go to his channel and you go to his the comments, there's there's nothing. There's literally nothing there. It's a desert. There's there's no uh, him, you, them talking about the theory. It's just yeah. I love <laughs> you. I love you. And and, and it's, it's hard. How am I supposed to get to get to the bare bones of your theory when none of your followers, the people, you, not even your mod flood uh, people, <laughs> the mod have flood. any the mod flood. Mod uh, they can't even they can't even explain it themselves. Like that's a problem. Don't don't purport yourself to be some. Uh, yeah, they uh, don't understand it for sure. Because right, because if they did, they'd see don't... it's bullshit. There's nothing to it. Yeah, I mean, we we boil down <clears throat> the essence of the theory. So, is because it, it'd be one thing if we hadn't watched any of this dude's material, and I'm making the triple six hand sign as I'm saying this, but we have watched <laughs> and listened to hours of this dude's material and it may have been objectively a waste of our time to do this and i will admit that but at the same time like i'm I trying feel to like see it's important yeah i'm trying to see what these the, people it's, are it's the only thing important in this community anymore is to debunk these bullshit fucking theories right yeah it's it's a it's what's new of... what's what's new are we going to talk about the 9-11 again no it, yeah exactly we're, we're uh, not ever gonna know the truth of 9-11 this the stage of the stage of where we are right now is um sort of where chalk had explained in one of his earlier videos about digital rorschach where you know the information's out there and it's it's now it's our it's it's like the truth thing is now us sort of extrapolating the response of people and the fruit of what's what people are absorbing and what they what they express to be what's true here so we're we're we're, we're basically examining the, our, ourselves at this point not ourselves but our peers the people that seem to be uh taking this stuff in and then that seems to be where we are now it seems to be like we're the the best way my oh, cat kitty got it like the Kitty gonna uh, uh it seems like tin, we are tin is in, in QOZ's basement right now. <laughs> yeah. He's been yeah. tasked with taking care of one of the orphan kitties. Yeah, yeah. He's sent here she's to a, disrupt the stream. She's a she's an she's an airport cat. We had a we had a saver, but uh what the no. hell is, what's yeah. an airport cat? What is that? An mean? Ex, expat cat. Expat <laughs> cat. <laughs> Uh, no, no, no. D used to work for the airport over here at Hartsfield. So, so someone left the cat, or what? She was like, yeah, you know, D worked at the airport. So she, she unloaded the Wayfair shipments, probably. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you know, it's just some cat that was running around, and all the all the black people, you know, they hate animals, so they are just like being mean to her. And so, like, D was just like, "What the fuck's wrong with you?" The cat liked her, and so. I told so her to bring you got up, a cat bring, now. Bring Shout out stuff. to D. Yeah, she's I asleep. D D. She's asleep, being loud. Is she sleeping or is she gaming? What's she doing? She was playing some. What's she playing? Uh, what's she playing these days? She's playing. Uh, what is that? Fallout or whatever? Fallout Two, the new Fallout. Tell, tell her to stream it. Does she stream? Does she do it? Does she do Escape from Tarkov? <laughs> 
I don't know what any of that means. I'm, yeah, I'm too old I for that. I don't know either. That so. shit looks hard. <laughs> I, play, I, I'm, I was watching Dragon Warrior fucking uh, RNG videos earlier. Speed through fucking videos earlier. What was it? What was this thing? I forgot. Yeah, we, you know, it's uh, it's uh, we are uh, sort of uh, dissecting uh, the fruit of the truther stuff now. That's that's mm. where we are now. What what what, if, what people are are interpreting now? We're dissecting that. Right. It's not even the material. It's not even the events that happen. We see. It's it's what people are observing and what 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 they're uh, claiming to be the truth. So. So like, yeah, and I I just like to look at it like out. I try to look at it outside of any particular worldview has has been the kind of, and I really I really don't even like the term worldview. I don't even think I don't even really necessarily accept that as a as a concept. Yeah, yeah. well, you've been, you've been in debate channels a lot. You know, you hear the fucking words so much it gets fucking. It, it gets ingrained <laughs> into you, right? Like, and it's it like gets so annoying. And people and they get so triggered when you say like, "Well, I don't even necessarily have to agree that there is a thing as a worldview," and then that's just they just they just go off the handle. But I mean, like, I like to try to look at things like outside of any. Well, I mean, everybody I think essentially goes at it that way, where they think they're going at it without presuppositions, I guess, or suppositions at all. You know, like, but um think that you should like i think i've always said like truth doesn't fear any kind of investigation right like exactly i don't think i don't understand how i can understand truth if i'm pre-assuming my truth before i investigate what my truth is and that's the that's the thing i was thinking too about our cakes he shouldn't give a shit he was crying that people were attacking him he shouldn't give one fuck if it was if his shit was lock solid airtight there'd be nothing to even talk about well you know, and in in his defense, though, um, he kind of saying, "Bring it on." Let's go, dog. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, uh, even even Jim Bob tonight was saying that he he super contra- contradicted himself tonight, though, because one he was going after the Thorps, he was going after the Thorps for attacking him, and then like. They decided to make a channel, uh, and the first few videos that they're making are them going against Jim Bob, and Jim Bob criticized that. But then again, Jim Bob later on in his stream says that, well, um, you know, I go against Jaron because that's one of the big, one of the big uh, back and forth recently is Jim Bob versus Jaron. Um, and we all know that, um, Jaron, uh, that Archaics called into Jim Bob. I mean, called into our, uh, Jaron the other night. I heard several it. nights ago. Yeah. And I mean, uh, Archaics basically destroyed Jaron on that call in. But, uh, I mean, there was even remixes made about it. It was, <laughs> he was destroyed so hard that, I mean, like, they made remixes of this shit. So, so uh, Jim, Jim Bob, you. What did Jim he Bob, say? Jim Bob, you're not even on the level yet. But, but what, Jim what did Bob say, say to Jim Bob saying it's okay for him to attack channels that are bigger than him, but it's not okay for channels that are smaller that's, than him to okay. attack him. Let's get into that because that's a big fucking thing that I believe that these people, the commenters and and the channels themselves, they feel like. Like when we're talking shit about John Levi, like the, it's it's almost like a how dare you because your channel is so little, so you don't add anything. So I feel like you need it's to like leave. A, I feel like it's like uh, you don't. Need I don't know the right why. word. Why like watching anymore? Where they you give just change the channel? Where they give more weight to the? It, but like the more subscribers equals more credibility. I think is how a lot of people perceive it. Hmm. No, I mean, I think the best channels are the ones that are small. But, I mean, I don't know if that means anything. But, because, I mean, you have the small channels that, like, Matt sh- shouted out, like that. Who's that? That super LV, skip? LV, yeah. I, I guy, whatever the fuck. Oh, they had a tower in a fucking movie. 
the planes come in from different oh. directions because they're pushing the two towers together. Wow. This is what it all comes down to to me, too, is like when I said that guy commented and he said, oh, you're discrediting anyone looking for meaning from this. Like, how does this shit help you, dude, in any way, knowing any of this? When when you are down on your fucking luck and you are fucking down and out, how does knowing the timeline or the year of this or that help you in we're, any any way? But that's we're trying to make meaning from this. So if we see people that are expressing things they think are meaning to it that are obvious bullshit... It should be completely okay for us to say, well, that doesn't have any meaning to it. But at the same time, I think all of us are searching for the meaning within these things, obviously. You know, and that could be, in the end, the trick, right? But who even knows anymore, you know, at this point? But we're not opposed to uh, exploring these things, right? But part of exploring them should be the part where you uh, criticize these theories, right? Cause, and it just goes back to the, the hypocrisy of the whole thing. Like, they'll say, like, this stuff's not science because it's not an absorbable. It can't be repeated. It can't be proven. It can't be falsified or whatever. It's like, and then they just make up some sci-fi fucking bullshit. And then everybody goes with it, right? Same thing with archaics, right? I don't care how many books he read you boil down the basics bullet points of his theory. It's a site. It's a Star Trek holodeck. That's the, that's the closest, uh, 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 and or analogy to his theory. Right. Yeah. And there's a, there's a benefactor and, uh, I mean, Matt, Matt can't even have an original thought without referencing a fucking movie or a TV show. Okay? So if we're going to call that out, saying that Matt can't have an original thought that doesn't reference a TV or Hollywood-produced movie... I just don't see... It I doesn't require me to give an original thought for that. I don't understand how Matt seems to think that m movies aren't propaganda too. Like, why? Why does he feel that? Uh, well, they're truth movies drops, are bro. retro causality, bro. Because they gotta tell he you. understands them more than more the than anybody else. Them. More than the people that Even made them. The person made them. And, and I mean, it's always the same theme. Somebody sees something that no one else sees. That seems to be the 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 center of his sort of filtering of movies. Well, there someone can see things that no one else can see, and this is this is important, yeah. especially with that Vin Vin Diesel fucking scene. And I forget what <laughs> fucking movie that was. Uh, he 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 alludes to death and waking up. Oh, he's woken up. <laughs> right. Waking up. It's like, what does that even mean, bro? Like, Ima imagine thinking a Vin Diesel movie. <laughs> was some kind of key to unlock all the secrets of no, reality. Dude, no fucking way, dude. No no way like that. You don't think that like movies are not propaganda. There's there's no fucking way that you're just going to let that slip by like and the whole they have to tell you. Why why are they telling you? Why are they telling you this anyway? Like what well, what's the purpose to. of that? What's the, what's the purpose of the deception if you're just telling them Oh, I'm just going to secretly tell you. But but <laughs> it's only it it's only you that can figure it out. <laughs> That's where yeah, it's, it's uh, so Matt, stupid. Matt and Archaics are kind of similar in a lot of the ways where it's like they appeal to the audience. And Matt's like, you're the real spirited human being. If you can see this, you're the special one. And the Jason has, a, has yeah, the same thing. Like it's a bunch oh, of uh, you're special the, boy Tokyo. You're the R yeah. you're the archaics veterans, you're the errands, you're the yeah. ones that are gonna break the matrix and stuff like that. So if you just yeah. appeal to these motherfuckers and make them feel special, they'll love it. We're like fight club here. You you are not special, you are not shit. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Yeah, like the, yeah, exactly. Yeah. 
they, they have that Gnostic flavor. Oh, the, we have the special knowledge, and if you don't have it, it's it's over for you. It's just you know you're you're fucked. You know, I just like I, I don't agree with that. It's stupid. It's appealing We're though all- to these people because it's it works obviously. Makes it feel good. Makes it feel good to be like, oh wow, you know, I got it. Wow, well, I know I, this. I, got, I, I saw. I saw fucking. Uh, what is it? The twin towers in a Madonna video. I know this shit. Yeah, I, I know. It was it's, in the background yeah, so, in a Madonna video. <laughs> I'm so Peter yeah. A cigarette commercial. Yeah, gave a reality truth drop. Tom Petty walked by a fucking. A building with a needle. That means he took the jab. I mean, I mean the coup. What the fuck I mean, are we coup- talking about at this point? Like, not us, but I'm just saying in general, like this circle jerk truth community. I mean, the, the, I mean, the coup. The, it's like how masterful was 9/11, and then how like masterful was CV19. It's like it'll be talked about for for decades. Yeah. From now on, nobody will ever know anything. Yeah. yeah, just like JFK, you know. Yeah, they're yeah. still talking about fucking JFK. I think AIX posted a video about that recently. I've seen that AIX has his own channel now. <laughs> he was doing karaoke. He was doing Jimmy Buffett karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> He came. He came out real hard. He warned the errands. The... Aix, go look him up. He came it's out AI super X. hard. He scared the errands, and he then he was pretty bad. And then he was doing karaoke. He's he pedal back. Yeah, he's, he's a good guy. Aix, a good guy. I think he's a good guy. He's a good he guy. wears uh, he wears Johnny Bahama shirts. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like this. <laughs> he's here to help us, man. He's, He's here got to help, a you know? life sticker on the back of his pickup truck, probably. <laughs> Saint Saint AIX, bro. Saint AIX. I don't know if that's canonized yet. I mean, how can you hate somebody that karaoke's Jimmy Buffett? I mean, Max. I'm pretty sure that was Elvis. Was it Elvis? Elvis. Maybe it was Elvis. I thought it was Jimmy. Was Buffett. that who? It, was that who he was talking about on the? He beat? mentioned Elvis. I thought Archaics put on his little post. He wrote like there, there has been one channel even made just purposely to like <laughs> troll the air and so I don't remember exactly how he said it, but I think that's the one he was talking about. Yeah, you know, so, so you know, so I think it's ten. But I think it's ten, but we don't know for sure. I think it's ten because we because it's got the music. We found this this that that guy through Jay Dyer's chat log in, in a live stream. This AIX guy <laughs> pops up, and then and then he makes yeah. I don't know. I think it's Tim. I think it's Tim, but I don't know. I don't know. That Go to Enslaved by Truth on on YouTube, and you can see the uh, first message from AIX to the Aaron. It's epic, bro. It's super epic. Epic. Who is who is uh, Quantum of Con Suckers? I want to know who that is. I have no idea. Is that the Kung Fu guy? Kung Fu Quantum of Con Yeah, Suckers? yeah, yeah. Kung Fu. <laughs> who is that? I want to know who that is. It's got to be somebody I know. Join the Discord, man. Like, I thought it was Butthole Winkler. Butthole Winkler is all over Wink, Winker or Winkler? Apparently it's Winker, but effect? yeah, that's Mandela. You got effect. Mandela affected? Yeah, I thought it was Winkler. I thought that doesn't okay. call Mandela. Here's a that wouldn't make any sense. But what Winker would make? Robin in the chat says, "I don't think Jason believes in what he's pushing. I don't think so either. I think he knows it's mm. bullshit." I don't think he knows what he's talking about half the time. I think he knows it's a <laughs> well crafted bullshit and he knows that it's bullshit is what I think. How do you believe in something you don't know how to explain? <laughs> um I mean you get you've, he's he's been reading there's a couple ones where he's read his own books mm-hmm. lately. And then he gets to parts where like he gets stumbled up and he's like, uh uh <laughs> I don't even know how to pronounce that word, but uh, like it's like, well, obviously you didn't fucking write this, dude. Like, 
the fuck are you talking about? Acquiescence. And then so he's got he's got a British guy reading his Chronicon on a different oh, yeah. channel. Have, have somebody else read the words. See, you, and he posted that today. He posted a clip from the British dude that's reading his Chronicon today. And it was talking about the pyramid. And somehow the pyramid, if you put it one dimensionally, if you put the pyramid one dimensionally, that equals the pentagram. And I'm here trying to figure out how the fuck a pyramid in one dimension equals the fucking pentagram. Because it's it's four sides, and then when you flatten it out, there's one yep. more side, I one, guess. One, one dimension... Think about what that means. A pyramid one dimension in is. one dimension <laughs> is a fucking triangle, you fucking retard. That's two dimensions. Like, though. That's two dimensions. No, it's one dimension. <laughs> if you draw on a piece, if you isometrically project it, it's a it's a triangle. What no, the fuck is no. a one dimensional? Tri- triangle. No, triangle is two dimensional. Yeah, I, I guess I don't even know what the fuck is a one di one dimension. <laughs> we just we're not woke enough, bro. We don't get it. So none of these people watching this shit get it either, though. Is yeah, the thing. exactly. <laughs> yeah. They're like, wow. Like, I'd love for somebody to show me what the fuck any of that means, but nobody knows what the fuck any of that means. Okay, you can get fucking uh, what's his fuck the fat fuck with the cameras and the. That sits at the desk with the fucking iMac. What's his name? Talks about fucking oh, magnets fucking, all the time. Uh, Theodor- the, Theodor- the, Theodor- the, the or whatever. Yeah, the, oh, the, the, Theodora. Makes up, just makes up fucking words and everybody's like, oh, magnets, magnets. <laughs> what the fuck are you people talking about? What the fuck does a magnet? Shut the fuck up, people. I just, I'm so sick of all this dumb shit. None of these people bring anything to the table, and then they get attacked for saying they don't bring anything to the table. Let's clear the fucking table first, and then start talking about bringing shit to the table. All I gotta say is that e- Ewar and Wooden Nichols are now on the same shit we were talking about like three or four years ago. Oh, they're just jocking OOE. With no, no funny business, though. Ain't got no like, funny like, like business. intellectually. <laughs> Ain't got no funny business in that in that stream, but well, they got to differentiate right. it a little bit. We, we've been talking about. It's funny that at the end of that stream, they had uh, Nichols asked them about the fake voice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I heard that part. <laughs> He's like, so what's up? But there's this other cha- that that FPV Angel channel is like going hard against uh, going against E-war. Uh, Ewar or whatever. He was going after Archaics too. Archaics too, yeah. Archaics seems like he's ready for war, man. What do you say, Jason? <laughs> I mean, I'd love for I'd love for Jason to come on and just shoot the shit with us. He seems like he'd be pretty based, but then he's got to like do all this like bullshit to to make this grind and hustle happen. And now he's like so far into it, he's like, he's just got to ride it out. He's paying the bills. Yeah, I mean, 2, I don't even, yeah. He would never, he would never come on to talk to you guys. Ever. That's that's not fucking ever gonna happen. All publicity is good publicity. That's what he said. Apparently, I mean, we I. Our informed field is so weak. I mean, what would we even be able to do this? Oh to? man! Yeah, because because him coming on the stream was You understand that it would him, get you guys talk. You guys would get talking, barbecued. You guys talking about him makes him look better, but him coming on the stream will make him look because we would terrible. have we would have questions. Well, yeah, I mean, you watch any stream he goes on, nobody. Yeah. I saw a comment too that's the, like, the, oh, these, said, these the commenters only- don't even know what to say. Like, you're just so far head and shoulders smarter than them. The guests you go on, like, they they don't even, they're dumbfounded. No, because good, the, guy, good. the guy just rattled off 500 fucking things in a row. Like, where do you even start yeah, saying something? Like, yeah, exactly. Like, he's he's rattling off a timeline. How do you how do you argue with a timeline? Right. 
How do you, how do you go? Okay, well, where do you, where, where would you like to begin? Yeah, no, I mean, it's like that's, that's one of the biggest things with him. Is he like he drops all these different calendar systems, and then like drops all of this chronology that goes with, it. and it and this is a basic misunderstanding. Like even with like Fermico is where they start to confuse calendars with chronology. And it, they're they're really not yeah. even related with each other. It doesn't matter what the calendar system is. Right. Compared to chronology, okay? So you are you link the chronology to the calendar system. And then, like, that's right. one of the big things that... You know, I've been studying these kind of things for a little... For a while, and that's the weird thing. Especially if you... If you read the Fomenko, the new chronology, you see where, like, Fomenko makes up this idea that there's this Scaliger chronology, right? That there's this new chronology that's invented um, after the Reformation. And then somehow the entire world just buys into this singular chronology of events. And it's, it's, it's not, it's really not even remotely true. So, I mean, it's like, for anybody to make their chronology, their own chronology, I mean, it's just, it's like, it's an impossibility. Because they didn't have calendar systems for a long time. Um, and it's only date, uh, backdated, right? So, like, all history is subjective. Okay, so, like, there's no objective history. Because when you go to write out a history or a chronology, you're assigning... Uh, importance to specific events and and, and uh, times d dates, so therefore it becomes subjective from the get go. Okay, so there there's no way to have a quote unquote objective history. And I see I see a lot of comments in his in, in his chats about uh, Jason's explored all this objective history and all these objective books. Well, that's that's really just just not even a thing. Well, well, can 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 collective subjective accounts create an objective? Yes. History. Okay. Yes. That's, what, that's how you know. That's how that. That's how it works. Nah, and, and you know that's that's a, that's what people always claim about. <clears throat> that's one of the one of the more biggest polemics against uh, the, the gospels and the Bible. It's like, oh, they're they're all different. You know, they're all different accounts. There's there's so many little different things that are different in each account, and I I, I think that that's like a, a, a testament to its like. Uh, It'd be more fake. The better polemic would be if like all four of the gospels were exactly the same. Right. Right. That's a, yeah. That's exactly what I was saying. But that it would be it would be weirder that they would be the same. That it's it's actually more more true that. They are a little bit different in each. I mean, aside from John, because John was different. But, but for the other synop synoptic gospels, like mm -hmm. Matthew, Mark, and Luke, that they are different, and that's that's what makes it. You, you know, you extrapolate these things from from the accounts of what what is true from it. So, yeah, that yeah that that is uh, you know. That's the way to go about it, you know. I mean, yeah, it's a, the history is subjective to a certain degree, but it has to collaborate at some point. You can't, it can't just be a one-sided sort of thing, right? But if we're talking about like uh, one source that was found in like 1946, you know, uh, and this is the only source for this material that existed right. until right. 1946. Exactly then I think that right. source should be criticized, right? Like, you should right. be giving textual criticism to that, right? I mean, right. I, I, exactly. I, you, you just don't see a lot of, like, legitimate scholarship in any of these. It's like, if there's one source that was found at any point in time, you can use that as being an ancient source, even if you can't. Like, I don't think, I think the Rosetta Stone is bullshit, right? Like, I, like, they didn't, Napoleon's army didn't just go to to Egypt and happen to find the Sphinx in the fucking pyramid buried under all the sand. <laughs> and then the Rosetta Stone that perfectly, like, 
uh, translated hieroglyphs, you know, to Greek and to fucking Latin. Like, I mean, obviously that's bullshit, right? Because, I mean, it's obvious that hieroglyphs isn't like a, uh, it's not an alphabet, right? I mean, like, it's not, you're not going to one-to-one translate that to fucking Greek. It's obviously pictographs. It's obviously fucking pictographs. It's not a fucking alphabet. I don't know. But the Mandela effect, too. And, like, I, yeah, I could see, like, they could have just built the fucking pyramid and the Sphinx. It could be cast at limestone. It could have been built just to per- perpetrate. Who knows? What it, the, the, you know, I've been, I've liked Egypt like my whole life has been what like I've always been intrigued by it right but the more and more and more I go into it the more and more I'm like well the pyramid really isn't that big of a fucking deal there's some fucking blocks stacked on top of other blocks with some rubble inside it's not that big of a fucking deal and for 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 somebody like archaics to build their entire entire worldview around this one fucking stack of blocks and dirt and limestone and sandstone i'm just i'm i'm not all about that i'm not all about that but if you bring something to the table where it would convince me i would i would dig it i would dig it but I'm saying I'm looking at your shit and your shit's bullshit. Okay, so do better. Shit's weak, fam. It's weak. Your hair is looking wild, Tin. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, I cut that. it. I cut it. It's no longer. Yeah, what the hell, man? Some anime hair now. Pretty tight. What about D? Did she cut her hair? Oh, fuck no, bro. Fuck no. Going to her butt crack. <laughs> Damn. The chat Word. says the do a poll to see if the pyramids is just a stack of blocks. I think it's newer than they tell you it is. I mean, tell me it's not a stack of blocks because I mean that's objectively real that it's a stack of fucking blocks. <laughs> it it was all guys... one. It was one block, and they just cut it into a pyramid. The, the I'm. It does have. It's like has all the um like mathematical shit encoded in it. Most of that shit's bullshit, though. though Why? Why look... is it bullshit? I never really like. When you it. look into those claims, they're all made by these crackpot people, and then when you like go deeper into the claims, it it. Turns I've seen out some shit all... on uh, like Netflix. It was called the Pyramid Code, and it had like the a Pyramid hun- Code, a right? hundred different like fucking mathematical equation. But I never double checked it. I guess. So that's what I love about the channel SGD Sacred Geometry geometry decoded like he goes into all these claims and like very easily proves that the majority of them are just complete bullshit like they're not even they're not even actual claims yeah like the align the alignment thing is total bullshit was one of the biggest ones right that uh somehow that the pyramids are aligned to like the the belt of uh Orion. Uh, Orion and shit. But I mean, like, it just depends on, like, where you're at to make that alignment. I mean, like, there, it's straight. You can align two objects with a straight line. <clears throat> it doesn't mean anything. Like, a lot of the claims really just don't mean anything <clears throat> once you go deeper into them. And especially the, uh, like, SGD goes into the, uh, really into trying to debunk, like, the claims of precision. Like, a lot of these guys make these super claims of precision, like these blocks are, you know. Within, like, a millimeter or some shit. Yeah, and they have to be made by, but, I mean, like, even today, like, all this stuff's being done the same exact way that it would have been done then. Like, there's, like, it's not like there's. There's no super sophisticated machining technology that's making fucking uh, blocks of granite. 
You know, go to a cemetery. There's like <laughs> blocks of granite, like that they make, and they put people's name in, and like basically it's just the same, same thing. You hit rocks with other things, and it chips, and you. There, it, it's it's ya- Yakub spaceship. Yeah. They do this thing where uh, they like go and chisel off these uh, loose rocks off sides of mountain cliff fucking towns they like go up and they like they're like loose rocks that they have to do because otherwise they're just gonna fall and fucking kill people <laughs> so they go and just like chisel it off they're, or they like I don't know how they do it exactly but they they do they, they... I mean rocks broke the same way that it's always been broke you know a wedge and a crack and it yeah break stone i mean there there's nothing special to it but one of the one of the recent things that sgd showed there's this um there's this tribe i don't even remember where the tribe is but like they have this whole religious ceremony where like they move these giant stones um for like a week at a time like and it's this whole thing and like the whole tribe just like goes and moves these gigantic stones and stuff is super insane to watch but just shows the power i mean like that's without any animal help without any simple machines which would be pulleys and ropes right that's one of the the big things that people neglect is that a that a pulley is a machine and and if you add some rope on it and complicate compound the pulleys i mean that's a that's all I that mean, a crane a crane a crane is pulleys and, and a cable. It's a bunch that's of what, inter- that's what a crane is. It's like it's a bunch of do nothing fucking internet fucking armchairs saying you can't build things. Like like No, people have been building things forever. Just because you live in a in a technocratic sort of you know, a preliminary technocratic state that that these things aren't possible. That it's not possible to you because you live in a you live in a very push push sort of system where you're able to sit here and say, "Oh, well, that's not possible. You couldn't do that. Who could do that? I, I could never do that." You know, it's, what do you it's think? Uh, that, what do you think the setup so, would be for them to like push that narrative that it's not possible to do that? It just degrades humanity to where they think they need to advance in some kind of transhumanist kind of uh, situation where they'll get, they'll be able to unlock this uh, unlimited technology, this no. ether Tesla technology that will bring man to this new utopia where they'll finally be able to accomplish things that uh, these so-called people in uh, in loincloths and and and, <laughs> and carts and buggies were able to do. Uh, six million years ago, or whatever, right? Like, it's it's just totally not possible that men were able to stack blocks on top of other blocks. Like, it's just so beyond our imagination. Do you some of the things that some of these like crafty people do nowadays? It's insane. Like, how how is you know blocks on blocks some sort of uh, astro like? <laughs> extraterrestrial fucking thing here like people I mean, are very I, people are very uh, industrial you know humans are very industrial people and, and the fruits of it you can see all around you i mean <laughs> it, and i don't get that it's, it's an impossibility that we can do literally i mean look at what we i mean i live in i live in chicago if i go downtown i mean like um Caveman definitely weren't building these fucking skyscrapers that I see when I go downtown Chicago. So, I mean, if you want to talk about technological advancement, well, these things are way more technologically impossible than anything that they built (laughs) than stacking rocks on top of each other. These are engineered steel and glass buildings that go hundreds of feet into the sky. I mean, like, so... Well, explain I mean, the Chicago Fire and the World's Fair, bro. I mean, like, who? I mean, like, uh, the the biggest like thing for me with that, 
there's this place in Wisconsin Dells. There's this theme park, and it's like a theme park of mud flood. It's <laughs> like they literally have a flipped upside down White House, and then they have like all reconstructed ruins of um, Rome and Greece and everything. It's all made of foam. But if you look from it, if you look from afar, it looks real. You go up close to it, it's foam. So I mean to think that they couldn't have built these uh, temporary buildings is is kind of absurd. I mean, but like I don't like the World's Fair in Chicago, 1893. I don't think most of that ever existed. I think that was like a marketing gimmick and like people came and it probably sucked. But like we were not there. There wasn't like fucking Amazon reviews. (laughs) <laughs> or fucking Google reviews back then. Like, so, like, the average person couldn't write and say, yo, the fucking World's Fair was fucking bullshit, yo. I yeah, went all the way out to fucking Chicago and none of this fucking shit was there, right? Like, uh, how do we even know, right? Because when you go down there now and I, you, like, I, because I go down there all the time and I look at, like, the map of the 1893 World's Fair and compare it to how it is now. It's like it's like there's no way there's no way that was it could have been, I guess, right? I mean, it could have been temporary. I I just don't even I this is the one that I explore a lot because I see a lot of inconsistencies in the pictures of 1893 World's Fair. It's like because if you look at it, it's like you look at one picture and it's like there's something there. You look at a picture from the other angle, it's like, well, that should be there, but it's not there. Like, a lot of it doesn't doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And then I always go to the Museum of Science and Industries. Anytime I go down to the south side for work, when I'm coming back out after a job or whatever, I go, and there's a parking lot and a little park behind the Museum of Science and Industries. And that building, allegedly, was one of the buildings built for... One of the two buildings built for the 1893 World's Fair that still exists, right? So I always go and just stop by there. It's right off Lakeshore. I go and stop by there, and then I get out and I walk, smoke a couple cigarettes, whatever, take my lunch break right there or whatever. Um, but you look at the pictures from 1893, and none of it makes sense of how that how that building would have been there in those pictures. Like, it's really super hard to imagine. But then the more you look into that particular building, like, that's supposed to be one of the two, is, like, it's not, like, giant blocks that are being quarried out of... there. It's cast. Okay, so it's, like, it's a factory-made building. And, it, and it's not that impressive. Okay, you just need some scaffolding, some rope, and some pulleys. And you can stack blocks on top of other blocks and you can make a building like it's there's there's nothing uh, otherworldly. There's nothing impossible about these buildings. I think that's where we, uh, I don't know. <coughs> the chat, get, the chat. People got to get past that point. The chat said it's otherworldly. Pyramids. It's just not. It's It's just not. The pair, I mean, I haven't been there personally. My dad, my dad went when he was younger. I have pictures from when he went, but I've never been there personally, so I don't know. But let's go. go. No, I've been to a lot of. I've been to a lot of the. I've been to a lot of the Capitol buildings. I've been to a lot of the mud flood places. Um, and for me, it's. I mean, it's just. It's they're not that impressive to where I could say. Wow, this is impossible. There's no way that somebody that people built this building. I mean, what what if, if I say that? What else am I gonna? Th- I'm gonna say there's either got to be fucking giants or fucking aliens that built these fucking buildings. Okay, so like for me to back up the idea there's fucking giants or aliens that were building this building is a way fucking crazier than me saying that motherfuckers just stacked. Fucking rocks on top but, of rocks. But the doorways, bro. The doorways the are big tall. doors, right? The, do- the door is big, bro. Oh, uh, big so big. here's here's a funny one. Here's a funny one on that. So uh last summer, uh we <laughs> drove going. We drove down to Pensacola. <laughs> on the way back from Pensacola, we stopped in Nashville 
and on purpose i i made sure that we made a detour because i'd never been to the the parthenon in nashville so there's a replica of the parthenon in nashville right where there's a big statue of uh athena and whatever um and it's just so funny because there's a bunch of college kids outside this when we go up to it and we're walking up the stairs. So when you walk up the stairs, there's these small stairs and then there's these big stairs next to the small stairs. And the, these random fucking college kids with like double collar popped fucking, you know, lacrosse shirts and fucking <laughs> pastel sh shorts or whatever. They're like, oh, bro, bro. You gotta walk on the immortal stairs. Don't work on the mortal stairs. Like I mean, so it's like it's com. It's this is a common mythology, like that. Well, these are god stairs, or this is a god door. It's just a fucking big door, people. Like obviously, the it doesn't mean anything because when you get into the place, you can't go anywhere in the place because it's built for regular sized fucking people, whether it has a big door or not. Like I mean. Come the fuck on. It's just whatever. It's just dumb. Hi, D. The, the, cap, the Capitol building in D.C. has a bunch of tiny little fucking midget doors everywhere. Are we, there's this whole race of fucking midget elves <laughs> that were running around also at the same time. <laughs> the same people that are making all the fucking giant doors. So I mean, if, shut the fuck up. In the future, if they found your garage door, they'd be like, oh, these motherfuckers were so fat. Right? They were fat as fuck. <laughs> all the cars rusted away and they find these yeah. places with these big... <laughs> Big ass garage door, like holy shit! Look at how fucking wide these motherfuckers were. I don't know, dude. Uh, I I feel I, like the whole right. shit is there's nothing to even look into anymore other than to debunk it, like you said earlier. Like, what else is there to do? It's I mean, all, you know it's all bullshit. Be, I mean, like to, to investigate it, you got to debunk bullshit claims, right? That's the basis of the whole fucking thing in the first place. <laughs> So why attack somebody that's that's calling bullshit? Right, because they're in because they're in their fields, man. Be honest, be honest about it, right? Be, yeah, don't 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 dare you attack people. Don't dare you attack the Levites and the and the Archaics, the Arabs and the Matards. How so dare you? They said don't, in the chat. You, I think it was Robin in the chat said that Levi shouted out Archaics a while ago. Oh, Which we probably the did. They're all they're all on the same fucking network. The network. network grows by the day, man. The network, man. Like I was telling Tin, I watched this guy on eBay, or I always call it eBay, YouTube. Uh, his name's <laughs> his name's Ramzoid, and he makes fucking beats and shit. And he was saying like he legally had to stream for twelve hours one day. So to me, that tells me that they're signing contracts and they have to stream so many hours per week or per month. Yeah, we didn't get we didn't get EBT on a contract. <laughs> yeah, who's calling these people EBT. up for these contracts, man? It's probably I'm sure it's a whole team with editors and all kinds of shit, you know. EBT, you're now on a contract. You're legally binded. You, you have do to stream or... eight hours a day. <laughs> eight hours a day, your... five days a week. <laughs> yeah, no more, no more electrical, no more engineering for you, buddy. Just streaming. You're, you're, you're a stay-at-home streamer, Dad. I would hate to see fucking, I be, like be chained to a computer like that. Bro, like, oh, I'm forced. Yeah, imagine how Matt feels. Imagine how Matt feels. Yeah, I couldn't stand that. Well, that's like his prison sentence right now. Is that? Is Matt? On a network like that, then is that why he's got to put out a video every day? He's on his own. He's on his own network. That's why you can't you can't reach him. You can't touch him. Look, look at this. What? Look Tartarian. at this. Free, energy, free what is that? Tartarian resonance <laughs> technology. Whoa, dude! <laughs> look at the sacred geometry encoded into this ether. Absorbing generator technology, bro. It converts electricity <laughs> from the ether, dude. They don't want us to know about. It shapes. looks like the phoenix. It looks like the phoenix weapon, bro. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> it's very suggestive. You it's very suggestive, bro. <laughs> but yeah, look at that. Look at that. 
All right, it's 924, no nuke, no EMP. We're protected. Oh, that's what it is right there. Y'all got to y'all fucking... gotta get you. Oh, shit, sure, it's the 24th cool. already? Yeah, put in code EBT. You can order one of those and get 5% off. Yeah, we're running, we're running a sale on this specific bottle right now. $666. Uh, three easy payments if you if you broke it. Uh, this could be yours. This is the the amount of Oregon energy that's emitting from this device right now. I mean the my meter my meter's broke right now. But I mean if this is so powerful that my meter that measures the the vibrational resonance. Broke. Of this argon energy ether device broke because of this thing is what I'm saying. So I mean, basically, you can't even put a price on this, but I'm putting a price on this of six hundred and sixty six dollars on sale now. Because order now, day. order now. Go ahead. But wait, Carol there's Bas- more. Carol Baskins did nine eleven dot com. If you, you order within the money. next five minutes, look we'll the, throw look in a frac- whole nother resonance converter. Fractal? Look at the fractal resonance that is occurring Whoa. right now with this. Wow. Wowie, wowie. Wowie, wowie. Dude. <laughs> Look, it's got the cross in the middle, and we all know. We all know that just means it, the Saturn cube. Saturn cube. <laughs> Saturn. All know that, yeah. Everything's a Saturnian cube. <laughs> yeah, every Saturn cube, literally matrix. Everything, literally everything. Kmart logo, Saturn. What was the Quake Quaker Oats? Quaker <laughs> Oats Saturn. Saturn. <laughs> what's the Saturn. Model, what's the point Marvel then Red of the whole Saturn. like? What's the point of all the truther like psyops then? Just to fucking Marvel I think just Saturn. to Saturn. Saturn steer your ass away from God and waste your time. I think to look into all the shit, or it's just it. a joke, or it's just a joke. Yeah, Sick maybe. Fucks. It's super. Tro- it's like uber trolling. Just a fucking troll. Uber trolling. Yeah, what was that Bill Gates like corn thing that you guys were posting? So I saw. So I saw the other day that there's like, uh, what is it? Corn Corn Hub, Corn Talk, Corn Hub, Corn Talk. (laughs) No, (laughs) yeah, Corn Hub got Corn Corn Talk. Corn Talk (laughs) is trending on TikTok. People posting corn memes, but it's like weird because uh, originally corn talk was like for porn stars that did like behind the scenes of porn things where they would corn talk was the hashtag for that. But then like after that black kid came out in that video where he's eating corn, he loves corn. They made like a remix of it and it went viral. And then so like there's all these videos making corn, uh, all these corn memes. It's strange. But now I think this is QAnon because it's talking about the popcorn because the show's about to start right Damn. now. The corn's ready. Uh, the, the, the Kabbalah rabbi, <laughs> Q rabbi, told me today. <laughs> Miss Sarah just said the queen's dead. It's happening. I mean, Horse skins are about to rain. It's all coming together. Nine, the storm is 911 upon. days after the whatever started the pandemic am i gonna get my foreskin back bro <laughs> yep no yep. returns oh. oh yeah bro <laughs> <laughs> true true absolution right there yeah what foreskin a fucking returns. what time is it dude i'm going to bed it's three fourteen. pie 4 14 for me i'm going to bed i'm tired all right <laughs> All right, you got. Do you want to say a eulogy, Tin, for uh, PP, the Phoenix Protocol? Uh, Phoenix Protocol, bro. <laughs> you, you're you're such a zealot. You're such a zealous follower. And I appreciate your enthusiasm and your love, but you need to get out of there, brother. You 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 know. You're, another world that you need to uh, get out of 
and I I hope the best for you, brother, in this errant world or the next. Okay. <laughs> All right, man. Any any last words? E B T and of video.